Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio, welcome to day four of a one day build. Uh, I am out filibustering all of you, as, uh, as somebody commented in the, in the live chat. Uh, this is a live stream build, it is going to be finished at some point, maybe today, I am not sure. Um, but what's happened is, I wanted to celebrate hitting 300,000 subscribers on the main Crimson Guitars YouTube channel. And uh, in amongst the utter chaos of moving the Vintage Tool Shop to Crimson Headquarters and a new year starting and just everything, uh, the other two projects that I have going on, uh, which are longer term projects, which were supposed to be longer term projects than this current one, uh, I said, ha, let's stop this for a week and do a Star Wars inspired, or at least a build inspired by whatever you guys want. We designed it together in the first episode, uh, a super edit of which is now live on the channel, and ended up, you guys ended up overcomplicating things for me, which I appreciate greatly, because you know, I mean, you know me. So what we ended up with is basic, technically a headless instrument. So we're using a headless trem system. Unfortunately, it does still require a head because it's got these weird tuner-like locking bits. A through neck with a vintage from the Bond factory Bond Electro Glide. Bond guitars. I wonder if that name is available. That could be a cool guitar brand to dig digress into. Um, fantastic Bond Electroglide aluminium fretboard anodized, so it's strong enough for strings. It's wedged, so there aren't any frets. So I thought, hey, we're going to save a lot of time because I'm not going to have to do any fret work. And guess what? <sighs> we then put an aluminium top with a rosewood interstitial top with uh, two actual bodies and a skeletal headstock. <clears throat> Can you hear the emotion in my? Anyway, welcome to the chaos. Let us start the live stream. Uh, now, on the uh, on the computers, we have uh, my wonderful wife Tanya, uh, who refuses to let you guys call her Tan. So you have to come up with something, uh, anything other than that. Um, she's not going to be on the cameras either. But uh, hi, darling. How are you? Hi. I'm confused already because I can still see that screen you said was the uh, yes. pause screen. Is that... So I've paused that now. You can uh, press play to go live, but I've, I feel that uh, if we're actually watching the entire okay. live stream as well as... I, I just wasn't sure if that's something was already going wrong under my control. It should be good. The beautiful thing about this community is <clears throat> they will take the piss out of both of us massively and, and repeatedly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but will also let us know when things are wrong. I couldn't see any... Um... Um, so, yep. Hi, Tonya. Hi, Mrs. Ben. Um, if, if, if you guys keep on calling her Mrs. Ben, I think that somebody will get beaten tonight. And it's potentially me. Um, uh, so, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm happy talking to tens of thousands of people, but doing it with my wife in the room live, uh, I wonder how this is going to affect things. Um, anyway. <laughs> You're laughing. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just comments? trying to keep up with the comments, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just wait till it gets going. Uh, now, here's one last tip before I crack on with the, uh, with the build. So, yeah, let me have a look. If you go over here... Yeah. Once you, once you zoom back up again, it stops the actual, the constant boop, boop, boop. Uh, when we've got... Um, five or six hundred people and they're all commenting it goes really really fast so if you zoom back like that okay. it stays still and you okay. can manipulate it yourself okay. okay so there's 311 people only 54 likes i'm uh, i i understand you're you're withholding withholding judgment uh on the uh, on the crows for today uh now tanya will be with us until a little bit later in the day uh where talitha will be taking over <clears throat> Okay, we already have a super chat, JS Trucking and Guitars. JS Trucking. Good morning, Ben. <laughs> think you'll finish the build today? That was a question. Are you taunting me? I think you're taunting me. Um, what I want to know, okay. I think there is actually honestly a chance, potentially, and I would really like to. So, maybe. 
Uh, I still have a bit of a scratchy throat, so I'm trying not to cough too much. Um, there's, there's a bunch of routing to do. I went, thanks to Creverai, I went, I remembered to go and buy some more of that Araldite uh, glue so I can actually add a second layer of uh, aluminium on here to, to hide the slippage from last yesterday. Um, I've got to carve the neck, I've got to finish the headstock, I've got to do some carving on the back, route pickups and trim cavity and controls and bits and pieces, but in reality we have we have, we've got a guitar. It's, it's all good. Um, it's pretty, pretty damn close. <laughs> okay, now, this is not a coffee. This is a fruit tea, and I'm not sure if it's making the throat better or worse. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Super Reddit's 100% uh, are absolutely seen and will be answered. Um, other than that, standard chats, Tanya will try and uh, comment on, on anything that, we, uh, that she actually spots. It's, uh, it's quite a lot. The, my starting point here is I need to figure out, I need to figure out where this bridge is going to go exactly. And uh, I seem to recall that it's a bit of a strange scale length. Somebody's disappointed you're drinking fruit tea. I think they're let down. Um, uh, if it's, uh, uh, if there's, uh, if it makes you feel better, I've got a reverse catheter installed with just pure caffeine in it. That's actually an image I just don't want to have. Um, <clears throat> I am already three, four, four cups of coffee in uh, today. So there we go. Okay, three, two, six is six, five, two. Let me just double check. I can do this. That's 12, that's five, that's six, five, two, woohoo. Ah, look at that. Okay, now, <coughs> what I don't actually have, ooh, what I don't actually have is a verifiable center line anymore. Let's work that out. <coughs> So yeah, Tony, just uh, feel free to... Uh, well, a lot hit of me. the comments are about whether or not you're going to finish, I'm afraid. That's a common, that's a common thing. <laughs> Whoever it was that suggested that I'd... He, they'd all voted for three episodes and I've, I'm now at four. And they suggested that I'd out filibustered everybody. That, that amused me greatly. Uh, let's not drop this guitar today. If you weren't watching yesterday evening, that was fun. Okay, we have a super chat from Mark Jennings. Thank you very much. Mark. And it says, we need embarrassing Ben stories, please, Lady Crow. Okay, there's three little, uh, three little dots next to the names. If you click on that, you can uh, either ban people permanently, <laughs> as happened to somebody yesterday. No, uh, no. I can't, I, I'm not technically able to do or that. Just, or I'm just, just be not, quiet. not clever enough. You can quiet them down for, for, for 300 seconds or something. Mm. Um, <laughs> <coughs> there well, are no embarrassing stories. The boys seem to think that it's very important that I mention the snoring. Well, I mean... Uh, I, I was wondering about this last night, actually. Uh, you, you put up with a lot, my love. I, I'm more worried about the neighbours two doors down. <laughs> and thus it begins. Okay, centre line. Um, quick, mention something that we uh, sponsor so Mark can buy it because uh, he's, he's an easy sell. Actually, Mark, you haven't come down for a guitar building course in far too long, or even just a visit. Come to mention it. Uh, 
So, uh, Tanya, Mark is the gentleman that, while he was on a guitar building course, introduced me to this Iwasaki Rasp. Oh, yes. uh, it was the smaller one. And uh, I was very skeptical, I'm afraid to say. We, we sell hundreds of them, and they are some of the most amazing tools we use. Just incredible. Okay, so what I've done there is I've marked out the center line based on the center of the back. Now, just to potentially embarrass myself, I want to see uh, whether everything else is actually lined up as I had hoped it would be. So a ruler along the outside of the, of the fretboard. And actually it does look like, oh no, I poop. I was on glue there. Okay, you have another super chat from Minotaur Guitars. Thank you very much. Thank you, good morning. And again, embarrassing stories. Let's go, Crow. <laughs> I, I think probably you're so open, there's probably not much that they haven't already heard. <laughs> so remember the other day that I uh, you what I told you about... Um, I was having a... Um, having a meal with Tom, Tam, with Tam, at lunchtime. And uh, at, at Wagamama's. And I'm sitting there, this uh, attractive little, probably 20 year old waitress uh, girl comes up, uh, comes up and says, what do you want? And I'm like, 69, it's my favorite thing in the whole world. And Tom just sort of, and, and the waitress took a half step back, you know, that's, Okay, the, the force of my... And, and she left and it was like 30 seconds later, a minute later after she's taken her order, the Tom's like, dude, you're, you're not normally like that. <laughs> so this is horrendously embarrassing. I then proceed to go and film the What's on the Bench where the first thing I say as I walk into the student room with half a dozen students I've not ever met was that story. Every embarrassing thing I've ever done is pretty much in the public domain. It's already there, yes. Yeah. I hope. Um, okay, they're coming in quickly now. Josh Tice. Josh. Thank you very much. Hey guys, I'm an aircraft mechanic in the Marie Corps, so I'm oh, good with my hands. Oh. Would you recommend a kit or build from scratch for a first build? First of all, I would love to see a photograph of your toolbox because uh, every uh, sort of tool porn uh, photograph I've seen from an aircraft mechanic, specifically military, is just you guys don't lose your 10 millimeter sockets um, at all. Uh, my my line was was off because of uh, uh, glue, and it is on the same on this side as well, actually. Um, so you are good with your hands. You are a uh, you are a mechanic. Um, wood is somewhat finicky. I would say that you would probably be able to actually do a scratch build, but for anybody, no matter their experience, I would suggest uh, potentially some form of starting with a kit. Now, definitely not the body. That uh, the, uh, uh, building a standard electric guitar body is is just not. It's it's not difficult. Um, Thirty-two, sixty-four. All right, we're centered. Fantastic. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, <clears throat> what I would suggest, though is uh, at the very least that you start with a pre-slotted fretboard um, because the the frets and the fretting I, I, I mentioned this yesterday uh, for a first guitar build don't do what I did which was attack the whole thing and worry about everything if you can shortcut one or two of the processes up to even if I had had templates uh, or knew how to make good templates at the beginning, that would have saved me. So uh, shortcut, make one of the uh, multitude of tasks easier by maybe a slotted fretboard. I don't think we even sell them at Crimson, so this isn't me trying to sell you anything. Uh, or maybe an uncut, uh, uncarved neck like we do sell. Uh, you can definitely make the body, you can definitely do the carving, etc. But uh, it's fairly overwhelming going for the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I currently think. Um, okay. Okay, Bob Van Dyke has been very generous and he sent you some money to buy a coffee from the other side of the channel. So thank you. 
I will enjoy that coffee. Thank you very, very much. We, uh, um, yeah, we will. I'm. We, it's mine. For, for, for a second, okay. I will enjoy the fact that my wonderful wife is happy and, uh, and caffeinated. The... <clears throat> uh, as you were saying that, I, instead of coffee, I thought you were about to say the word coffin. Uh -huh. um, I don't know why, but anyway. Uh, okay, camera three. So let us know in the chat uh, who among you started with just complete scratch builds uh, from from nothing, and how how did it go? Also, where are you, and what time is it? We uh, we decided to start this at eleven a.m. UK time because there were just far too many people setting alarms for two or three o'clock in the morning. Uh, where they are, and I feel really bad about that. Tony Murphy wants to know if you investigated locksmith pinning tweezers yet as a tool. <clears throat> I haven't. I haven't. I looked into them, and I couldn't decide which ones to buy. But I did look at the photos and go, yes, I need those in my life. And the annoying thing is I've had some come through the vintage tool shop and I, I, I thought they were medical, to be honest. Uh, okay, so I've got my, I have got my bridge position marked. And uh, I'm using a, a Crimson Guitars uh, Custom 22 template just because it's what I have. Now the bridge line is there. The actual cavity starts six millimeters behind the nominal scale length. Okay, we've had two more super chats. Thank you, Terry Love. Terry Love. Um, Terry Love is the man who said something. I can't even remember what he said yesterday. And he got, and I, I took over the computer from Talitha and I, I basically shadow banned him for thirty for three hundred seconds, and it started a, a groundswell of support. Uh, hashtag Free Terry was the most commented comment at the time. Uh, hi Terry, how I'm sorry again. Please, please forgive me for my hasty um, work. I'm looking. I've just drawn so, two lines. I'm trying to figure out which one's which. So one. I think they're trying to stir stuff up because it says Ben tells us you're okay with him making big purchases. No, that's... I, what I said... <laughs> Come on, people! What I said is that my wife and I started with very, very little, if, if anything, and uh, for a long time it was a great big struggle. Uh, we were bankrupt in 2008, among other things, and you've put up with a hell of a lot. But uh, at this stage, my wonderful, wonderful wife um, completely understands that finally I'm actually somewhat okay with money and we'll have enough to do the garden. Can you hear me mentally walking on eggshells here, people? Can you, <laughs> what are you doing to me, Terry? I'll ban your ass. Uh, <laughs> JS Trucking Guitars, thank you very much again. He says, don't forget to use your safety equipment today, Ben. Did you? I don't do know the meaning of the word. So they shouted me for not wearing goggles on the bandsaw when I'm cutting wood, which the bandsaw pulls the stuff down into the bandsaw. There's basically no, um, yeah, I should wear it more. I really should. Yes. I'm better than most. Go watch a, any Duresta video, any Jimmy Duresta video, and Adam Savage, he got, he's goes in his, in his workshop and he's just spraying without a mask most of the time, spraying lacquer. And I'm just like, guys, seriously? But anyway. Okay. Uh, thanks again, Josh Tice. He's come back in, on Super Chat and says, thanks for the advice. If you want a pick of our toolbox, let us know where to send it. Also thoughts mm. on carbon filter, fibre, sorry, in a build. And I do composite repairs. 
Okay, now building yourself a carbon fiber guitar or at least using it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let me, while I'm talking, go and find the trim that I seem to have misplaced. Uh, there it is. Okay, cool. <sighs> send, uh, please send photographs of your, of your toolboxes to stream at crimsonguitars.com, uh, which is where I um, see these things. Huh, I should be putting that on backwards. And uh, carbon fiber in a guitar is a really cool... Um, it's a really cool thing. It's not the most, it is not anymore the most modern and uh, amazing of materials. We've, we've been using it now for, uh, for quite a long time, actually, which, uh, which is good because it's no longer, it's something that you can buy on, uh, on the internet, spend a couple hundred quid, get a kit and, and, and just go. Now, where it becomes problematic is <sighs> there, there are two ways to use carbon fiber. One is to skin something, i.e., um, sorry, wrap. So you'll take a piece of balsa wood or Douglas fir or something like that, very soft and, and, uh, and lightweight, and just wrap that in carbon fiber. And you take that, you've got a lightweight guitar that's much more structurally um, sound because it's made with carbon fiber. That's the sort of thing that I would be able to do in my workshop. And I've got actually uh, five square meters of carbon fiber twill in here to play with at some point. Um, <clears throat> the next one involves um, <sighs> vacuum bags and heat and giant ovens, the name of which I completely forget. And uh, however, if you can gain access to one of those sorts of things at work and build yourself a guitar in your downtime while cooking it while something else is going, that would be cool as. Uh, what was the other part of that question, Tanya? I'm sure there were three parts there. Um, so you, you carbon fibre, and uh, if you want the picture of the toolbox, you have to let them know where to send uh, yeah, it. Yeah, that's stream at crimsonguitars.com. Okay, Lorenzo wants to know the brand of the bridge. Okay, uh, so this bridge was made by uh, a company. Um, oh, okay. I've got, a, I've got a two or three of them in here, and the name has just completely escaped me. There we go. Uh, Riviera. Riviera. Um, so the, the trim looks really, really good. I just wish that they had a more headlessy uh, option for it. Yep, that looks correct. So uh, we have a super chat from Springy two one one two. Hey Tanya, please distract Ben. Accidentally knocked the guitar off the bench. I don't need to do that. He'll do it himself. <laughs> so the headstock breaks off. Uh, then Ben can craft a beautiful looking nut. Ah, somebody not happy with your choice of nut. Uh, no. So this is this is the thing. This is supposed to be a headless guitar. Um, this is a headless locking system where the tuning is done at the bridge, Tony here. That's the tuner instead of at the headstock like a normal guitar. The problem is, when we, when we voted to do this, we didn't realise that these are the locking systems and it has to have a headstock of sorts. So these lockers are going to go in there and it just looks like a, a standard headstock guitar. Um, <clears throat> now... You're making these mistakes to inform other people. That's that's that you did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. To educate. I realised early on that if I didn't uh, own up to mistakes, that I would swiftly. Um, yeah, it would be a problem. There's enough of them in every build that it's just yep. Own up to it, fix it. It is part of the uh, part of the thing, but um, yeah. It's it's just one of those things. So, how many people are watching at the moment, Tanya? Oh, you're asking me a technical question. Yeah, it's oh, just up goodness. there on the on the screen. It should be in front of you. Current view is six hundred and seventy-one. Okay. I'm I'm tempted to create a poll. Asking whether we should or should not. 
take this headstock off. Okay, you've had a super chat. Thank you, Jonathan Dean. I, sorry, it's down the bottom of the screen. I couldn't see it there. I'm building a firebird V at the moment. I just wow. can't decide if I should fit a hard tail or a vibrato. Do you slash anyone have a preference? I think most people prefer hard tails. Um, in the end, in the end though, if it's a guitar for yourself, then you really, really should just build what you want to play. Um, if, it's a, if it's being built on spec, then you go and you look and say, okay, out of the world guitar market, how many instruments are built with trims? Uh, most people block them off. I mean, even, well, half of the big musicians who play strats block, block the trims off. So probably a hard time. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to cut this off uh, make this template a little bit shorter so I can mark this out and then we need to do a bit of designing to work out what the extra shape uh, the, the next layer of aluminium is going to be because well the options are we can either hide the gap at the end of the fretboard with a pickup let's grab the pickups let's do that which would be easy uh, ish <sighs> yeah, probably just that. I don't know why I like the gap at the end of the fretboard. Um, so the thing is, what you guys are trying to do by making me chop this headstock off is spend part of today at least making custom hardware, aren't you? Okay, and you've had a super chat from Franz Truter. I'm, Franz Truter. I'm trying so hard not to say anybody's names wrong because that no, would it's, be very it's, offensive. No, 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 no. We we understand. Say, just just say. Look, I, I'm not going to get this. But it's, it's it's Franz Truter from uh, South Africa. Okay, hi Ben. That tremolo position looks a bit off, or is the camera tricky? Ban him. Um, <laughs> three. So uh, no, it's. Um, it's a little, it's further back uh, due to the sort of design. Well, it's not even further back. It's a fairly long scale length, this 652 millimeters. And uh, yeah, it is as, as it is on the design, basically. Here we go. So yeah, it's, it's, it should be all good. And a very kind super chat from PS Guardian. Scroll work knob curling back from the nut. Is that a question? That's a question. A scroll work knob. I'm not able to picture what you mean by that. Well, like a beautiful old fashioned. Yeah, okay. Is, is that what he means? Like... Oh, sorry. Aha. Blacksmith scroll work rather than scroll saw work, which is filigree and, and uh, cutting it out of thin pieces of stuff um, not with this this is a this is a more Star Warsy sort of a, a, a build as as was voted um, last time mm. uh, Terry Love has very kindly sent another super chat this says cut the headstock off so there'll be a day five of this one day build Too many decisions, too many decisions. I'm trying to figure out what I think about this. Um, whoa. Okay, I don't think that it requires an extra plate on here. So that whole trip to Dorchester this morning, Tony, to buy glue was probably a, a, just not required. <laughs> I now have lots of glue though. 
which is good. Um, we may we may do that later, but it, I think it just overcomplicates. What I like about this is the clean lines. I don't particularly like the headstock myself. <sighs> we have a super chat from Dave. Dave, thank Dave, you. Dave, Dave, uh, aluminium covers on the P90s. Ban him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I, I think that that sort of thing, um, with all guitar design, you have a, you need to have some sort of contrast. We're looking at a spaceship. We're looking at a spaceship. Okay, let me give that a little bit more consideration. Let me put the chisel away that I need to cut myself on there. Again, you're distracting me while I'm trying to think about headstocks. What my initial thought was, was to, let's not actually unscrew the pickup that I'm using on the build. Somebody suggested a cloaking device that would solve all your problems. <laughs> this is not a Star Trek guitar. <laughs> okay, springy. 2112, thank you again for your super chat. It says, sorry, Ben, it's the hardware's fault, not yours. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. Peace <laughs> and love. Uh, in brackets, chop it off. Lol. <laughs> okay. I'm just wondering if I can get this cover off. My thought was to take the covers off and uh, hit them with sandpaper to... Um, to make them less plasticky. If not, I can hit them with uh, some paint, etc. as well. No, it's not. The, the, the pickup itself is actually glued into the cover. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to work on that. Okay. Uh, I think we should do a poll to ask whether we should do a poll uh, well, we've had a few comments about that. that. Does that require me to be... I'll show you how to do a poll technical. in a second. Let me just put this back okay, together. Okay, so we have... Oh, hold on. We're... So Clifford Evans, thank you for your £5 super chat. Ben, have you ever looked at incorporating one of the shadow pickup ring tuners in any builds? Uh, yes, I have. I haven't done it. Uh, I just haven't had the right uh, customer for it, uh, which is annoying, actually. It's something that I would like to do. So, uh, yeah. Um, I've got somewhere in here I've actually got a um, one of the control knob tuners uh, that I want to do at some point uh, my microphone's I'm just going to turn my microphone off for a minute while I do this Okay, go for it. Question okay. me. JS Trucking and Guitars. Just cut the headstock off and make a custom brass nut to replace it. That's that's the thought. That is that is the thought currently. Uh, I also need to turn this heater down. It's far too warm in here. Where are we? Fifteen degrees in a workshop. Hmm. Okay. Um, uh, let me just have a quick look. I haven't figured out how I would do a pol uh, how I would do the thing. Don't forget your tea. Yeah, all right. You've got some more questions as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, so up here. Nope. Okay. Down there. Create a poll. Okay. And question. You stock. Off. Okay. I see. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
where the results come up. You are. Ooh, failed pixel. Etch and distress the aluminium to look like, like the exterior of the Millennium Falcon. 100%. Uh, I am not going to be etching it with uh, ferric chloride acid, even though I have some here, simply because I don't have that much experience with it. And I would do something wrong in public. Uh, I need to practice. I need to practice in private before I feel confident doing that. Uh, that's something where PPE really is actually rather important, as is, I seem to recall, bicarbonate of soda uh, to neutralize everything. Uh, okay, so uh, there is a poll going at the moment to see whether we should just sacrifice this headstock. I mean, the headstock could look pretty damn cool, I will say. Uh, what I have planned for it is all sorts of cool angles and bits and pieces. Those cool angles and bits and pieces will take a little bit of time to do, and that time could be used making some sort of a custom locking nut using, I suppose, brass and grub screws. It would also need to have uh, a way to adjust height-wise so you can sit. <sighs> yeah, it's the sort of engineering that an aeronautical engineer uh, would probably be better off doing than I. But we'll see. Are you ready for another one? Yeah, go for it. Disco stew. Disco stew. I love if you guys. If the locking pegs don't turn slash tune and the bridge only has minimal tuning, how would you get the strings near near pitch before using the micro tuners? Okay, so, well, that's the, that's the thing. As you, as you install the string into the locking section up here you, you've got it in your trim so the ball end if I recall yeah the ball end fits in these moving brass bits so you've got these these brass bits here and that's what actually sets the tuner you will pull that all the way out so that when you put the string in from here you've got lots of tightening to do no other way around all the way in <laughs> so you've got lots of tightening to do and then when you put it into the locking system you pull that really tight and then lock it off and you should have uh, you should have enough flexibility there okay so okay you ready uh yes you've had a very generous super chat from jc JC Trucking. Well, no, I don't know. Is that, no. Is that oh, JC, sorry, that's, that's JS Trucking. JC, yeah, somebody else. I, I remember from yesterday as well. Thank you very much. Okay, not going to be able to stick around today. I have a lecture for eight hours today. Oh, gosh, that sounds exhausting. I'll Are watch you the lecturer? replay tomorrow. Here's lunch on me. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Oh, oh. I just realised there is actually somewhere local we could go to get some nice lunch. Um, we live in the sticks. <laughs> basically um, the question is are you giving the lecture or receiving it because receiving it you could sort of uh, put your headphones in your sleeve and just sort of go like that which which I uh, have taught my children how to do uh, and if you're giving the lecture you could put us on your screen on your screen and find some way to work whatever I'm doing into okay this is how you watch a man just make a total fool of himself talking about stuff he knows nothing about um, psychology or science or etc. Um, this is quite an interesting uh, system here. The so you've got the grub screw inside inside the locking system. Then you've got a hardened steel pin, and that's what locks your string up against the inside of that. And then this here is how it. Um, how it works. <sighs> so the other option, we could utilize this and have them a much smaller headstock, but obviously it's too late for that now. Mm. I'm just wondering if I can uh, take this and adapt. Okay, we have a lot of super chats. Okay, Marcia Levine. Uh, Marsha, I think. Marsha, would you tell me, is it Marcia? Because that's what Talitha said yesterday as well. Or is it Marsha? 
Okay, I'm, um, I'm going to... Tanya, actually, could you do me a favour? Yes. I've got a letter from Marsha up at the house that I need to reply to. Okay. If you're actually going to remind me as well, May. I will try. I will Whenever try. I sit down at that desk, say, Ben, you've got a letter to write. Okay. Uh, she says, Hello, Ben and Mrs. Scroll work knob would be perfect on the treble clef inspired bill, wouldn't it, Ben? Uh -huh. All those lovely black curves. Uh, second letter today. Oh, so I'm already one behind. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, uh, let's give it another minute for, for that poll and then we'll end the poll and see what the results are. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking my brain trying to figure out what to do next uh, with regards to a, a nut. Okay, we're going for another one. I'm not sure how to say this. Disky, disky. Thank you very much. Keep the headstock. It adds to the Star Warsy feel. It does. Okay, Salty Johns. He says, leave the headstock. A lot of time has gone into redesign to make it work. Pull the secondary piece for around the pickups or not. <laughs> yeah. Well, the poll is going. I, I do still have a veto that I haven't used properly. JS Trucking Guitars wonders what you mean by off. It's just a very British way of saying off. <laughs> That's the thing. It, I say it because I'm from South Africa, which is also, it's, uh, it's a, uh, anyway. Sorry, people take the mick out of me for, or, for saying it back like that. So I. Yes, I, I think Mark, Mark Jennings get it. He says off with his head, or with its head, sorry. Off with its head, yeah. Uh, Josh Tice, come back. Thank you very much. He says, keep headstock, add aluminium on top. Keep the hole. Yes. Well, that's the thing. So um, I ha, there we go. I needed that clue. Yeah. OK, uh, Terry Love, thank you very much for your super chat. Make the headstock detachable like a lunar lander module. Oh, with magnets or something. That would not be strong enough, <laughs> as cool as that is. Um, I saw a uh, I saw a GIF yesterday, the other day, of a of how a rocket uses its fuel. Um, it pulls up there. Okay, so the pole, and essentially they made a. Where do you see the pole? I'm not sure. Is it still down there? You've just got rid of it. I thought I was going to be the one to mess it up. Oh no. Anyway, I saw it was 68% no, wasn't it, basically? Stream health, analytics, stream settings. No, 67%. Okay, fantastic. Anyway, uh, well, yeah, there we go. Phew. Okay, that's good, because I didn't want to go into uh, engineering mode today. Uh, I saw a GIF of how uh, the Apollo rockets used their fuel, and they'd actually basically animated uh, a transparent rocket to show you the different stages and stuff. Mind blowing. Uh, to digress based on something that you digressed while reading a comment, Tanya. But we're good. Okay. The headstock is good. The position here is good. I am not going to. I'm going to use the pickup to cover the gap at the end of the headstock uh, that was created by the veneer slipping because I didn't use a locating pin where the pickups were because uh, I'm a fool basically. But uh, yeah, that will that will work nicely. Um, we're keeping the headstock. The question really is, do we have an aluminium cover of the headstock with the hole in it, as is designed? Or do we have an aluminium headstock where you've got the whole headstock covered in aluminium with just slits for the strings to go in that go down to the tuners, the, the locking things? That would make putting them in the locking things a lot more difficult. I've just answered my question. If you're going to make life difficult for the player, don't do it. Okay. Questions? Yes, sorry, I'm just trying to figure where I'm at. Where I'm at. 
Lisa Harshberger, thank you very much. Since this is a Bubba, f since this is Bubba Fret, yes. there should be a dent on the headstock. Ah, so you need to keep it. Uh, you need to keep the holes. Oh, keep the headstock. Sorry, yes, very good point. Um, dent in his helmet. So we 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 voted uh, on names yesterday, and this guitar is uh, Bubba Fret. Yes. And the serial number is C3P90, because these are P90 pickups. I see. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, okay. So what you did there? It wasn't me. It was, it was the, the community. I'm Love not sure how you that. say this one. Tede? Tede. Okay. okay. Any advice for drilling slash cutting a lacquered top? Ooh. Oh, good quality. Um, Good quality drill bits. Cutting is just one of those things. Basically, a fast router with a good template will go zoop and should be nice and clean. Uh, a good quality uh, drill bit, uh, center point drill bit, uh, like the um, um, these are the Star M ones that we were talking about yesterday. That they've got these teeth on the edge that cut the edge first. And they're centered, they don't wobble around. That is that is what you need. Okay, where are we at? Uh, thank you, Garage Master Guitars. Is there a general bridge to bridge pup distance? Um, okay, so I tend to put it at around about 40 millimeters. Uh, basically. Dave, Dave's come back about the lecturing. I have a lecture on Thursday where I'm the lecturer <laughs> and I says he's well, I'd rather be watching this. I, I suppose it depends on how um, into it the students are as much as anything else. Uh, hold on. Camera two. So I just need to cut off the excess of this uh, pickup surround. And I don't want to turn on the uh, bandsaw today, or for now at least. Uh, Marsha's come back with, it's, it's Marsha, the right way to pronounce it. Cool. Okay, on the Super Chats, David Daly, thank you very much. Trying to talk over Ben Soren. Um, black mesh on the back of the stock might work. Ooh. 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 Uh, yeah, that could be quite cool. Love that noise. Somebody's uh, code me is on the chat there says, changing mind after point of no return. Classic Ben. <laughs> There is, there is never a point of no return. You can always make changes. Okay, you ready for a super chat? Absolutely. Zach Dory, thank you very much. Cut the very top part off the headstock so it looks like a two-pronged <gasps> fork. <gasps> Not a two-pronged, two, two, two uh, 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 words. Get that words. word out. Hold on, what's that rifle that uh, Boba Fett uses? What's that called? Oh, what? yes, okay. Oh, genius. Boba Fett rifle. Come on, I've got no signal. Oh, I know why. I was uploading the 30 gigabytes of footage from yesterday's stream to um, to Bear, who's doing showing pictures that match. Doing the editing, and uh, had to turn my own internet off. Rifle, a gun. Come on, I'm sure he's sort of a. Okay, it's not Boba Fett, it's the Mandalorian, isn't it? Surely they're telling me in the uh, in the live streams. Yeah, there we go. So the, the Mandalorian rifle has got two prongs on the end, which is actually really close to what we've got. This, uh, mm, okay, there we go. I love you it. need another poll or go for it? No, 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 no. I don't care what they think. What are you talking <laughs> about? This plane is blunt. Okay, um, no, I think that's a damn fine idea. Uh... 
Arg. Uh, somebody's reminded you vote, they voted for a brass nut. Uh, yes, okay. Brass, a brass nut it shall be. Okay, super chat. Thank you, Owen Kelly. It says, call it a faux stock, get a design patent, profit. It's a damn nice original idea. <laughs> I doubt anybody would actually pay me for that, but... Uh... How am I going to do this? This is the problem. So we had two different options in mind while talking about three other different options and it's distracted the hell out of me. Somebody's asking, are you putting soap bar P90s in it? Uh, no, they're just standard, uh, relatively inexpensive uh, P90s that we had in stock. Okay. Now, what I need to do in reality is chop that off, which means I need to do all of the routing first with this on those two, and then sacrifice the end, and I'll use the end of the fretboard to run the bearing off on, on the rest of it. Okay, we can do that. And we'll move on to the headstock in a minute. Hmm. Okay, I hope I've not missed any of these super chats. Uh, we've got Grundwaller, and go with that. Cage the headstock like the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. So it's sort of uh, 3D it's, over the top. Yeah. Sort of... No, that would be fun. I, I really like the idea because we called it the, the Boba Fret yesterday. I think the uh, using the the rifle that the Mandalorian used, uh, or at least a variation of that, really works. It really, really works well. So we we're, we're going with that option. Um, okay. So now what I've got here, I want the central pickup to be absolutely centered on uh, on the other two. So. It's 36.5, 36.5. Let's get rid of that one because that's not required anymore. Somebody's asking about the brand of your bits you're using. Uh, those drill bits are Star M. They are, it's a Japanese company and they are, they are really, 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 really good. Uh, I got mine from uh, Workshop Heaven. I have lost. Oh, there it is. I put it away in the wrong place. Yeah, Workshop Heaven in the UK is a, a very cool uh, high-end tool store with uh, with amazing things yep. tiny square Was there a question earlier from somebody who asked about what's the right budget for a, uh, yes. a bandsaw? Yes. Um, so you can on eBay uh, or Craigslist or, or wherever often find really, really good, uh, really good things. But um, for a new one, you're talking about Let me rethink this. A for guitar building, if you are planning on 
ripping down a top and book matching it, for example, you need to have at least seven and a half, basically, <coughs> basically eight inches of uh, th depth of cut. And bandsaws like that tend to be about a thousand pounds for a new one. I would wholeheartedly suggest uh, Record Power or uh, I think Laguna makes some really good ones um, in the UK. But uh, yeah, it's about the, the size of it and how big of a blade it can take so that you can do those rip cuts. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, what I need to do is drill out with a forstner bit, a sacrificial forstner bit, because I don't want to use my Famag bits, another fantastic drill manufacturer, on, um, on the aluminium. So I'm going to drill out the waste, which means I need to guesstimate where this is going to go. Okay. And uh, then with that, and these ones here, I can then go and do some routing. So, well, let the fun begin, shall we? I wonder if I actually have access to the pillar drill. I didn't think I was going to need it today. Dave Lewis is asking you, Ben, why didn't you just stain the wood under the aluminium instead of using a veneer? It's, it's like asking a Savile Row tailor why they hand stitch the inner lining. I have never spoken to a Savile Row tailor. Um, I could have stained it and I am planning on, uh, I am planning on staining other parts of the guitar for sure. I just, I just like the idea of using uh, the real thing. It's, it's just somehow a little bit more um, real. I don't know. High end, fun, time consuming. I like building guitars, therefore I want to do it for as long as possible. You might have noticed. Purple Dracos wants to know where you are heading with the controller, controls, sliders to allude to aeronautic controls. Okay, Question. I don't have sliders. Uh, the plan is that we'll have controls uh, in here uh, <coughs> yeah, following down that line. So you'll have a, a control plate uh, at the back, uh, sort of maybe doing that. Your volume control will be in the right place, so you, you can play with your uh, little finger if you need to, uh, a volume, a tone, and then some sort of a switch, possibly. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to go and try and access the back of the workshop, because I do need to use the pillar drill. Uh, Tanya, feed me with questions. Feed me with questions. Well, we've got one um, from Gregory H. He Gregory. says, Ben, do they make silver leaf instead of gold leaf? Yes, they do. Um, it's, it's a little bit easier to use than gold leaf. It's not quite as delicate. And uh, uh, if you are interested in watching me experiment with it, the next episode of my daughter's guitar or our daughter's guitar, don't you? Um, we As are... If I didn't know, is it, is it a surprise? I think I know it, more than you. <laughs> I think you, you, you experienced more than I did, yes. Um, the... Yeah, basically with that guitar we're silver leafing the inside of the holes there because it works better with the colour that we've ended up with. I've managed to pile a whole bunch of wood up in front of the... Uh, the pillar drill because I'm a... Full. That's the word I'm looking for. So we're going to be doing this sort of a thing. How many people are watching, Tony? We are at 783. Yeah, okay, well, there we go. That absolutely makes it fun enough and uh, from a point of view of enough people interacting and talking to us to make it worthwhile having, having this as a very regular thing. So 
I don't know what I just dropped. I don't know what you just broke, but... I don't think it broke. You won't know. Do we still have internet? <laughs> I think we're okay. Um, yeah, so I'm not entirely sure on the scheduling. Um, should we do a poll to see whether I should ask my wife permission to uh, basically not come home on Monday evenings? I thought it was uh, a poll to ask my permission rather than a poll to <laughs> let to, them decide. To ask whether I'm allowed to ask you or whether I should <laughs> risk it or not. Um, so yeah, essentially Monday evenings. Uh, so th my, my thought is that we start, we do a weekly live stream and there is no, none of this it's going to take a day, it's going to take five days or anything. It's just, hey, we're doing this. It'll take as long as it takes. Starting at 11 o'clock, which is uh, OK, and then going to, say, 7 or 8 o'clock, if I can get um, spousal permission. Um, and now you're making it my fault. Now there's some pressure. and some... Yeah, yeah, no, that's the whole point. This is carefully designed <laughs> psychological warfare. I've got a few, few questions about gloves. Have I have I got gloves for you? Oh, <laughs> I this there are gloves there. There's two bo whole boxes of them. I I had a bit of a go at the audience yesterday uh, for not warning me beforehand uh, that I needed gloves for messing around with epoxy, okay. and I just got covered. Uh, I actually had to go up to the house to wash my hands because it's just. Ugh. Um, anyway, now what I need to do, Tanya, is. Uh, move this camera so we can get this. I don't want to film you because you don't want to be filmed. No, please don't. I think many people understand. Many people understand the uh, the need to not be on camera. Okay. I do just need to warn you, however. Is it going to get loud? Is it? Uh, no, I'm just telling you that if you move this side, look at me. Okay. If you move that way, you will be on camera. Okay. Because this camera is uh, is looking there. Duck. Okay, so there we go. Now, <clears throat> it's not going to get particularly loud. I need goggles though because I'm going to be drilling into aluminium. <sighs> Somebody's asking if you've ever built a chaos pad into a guitar. Uh, t t technically, uh, technically no, but also yes. So you don't actually build the chaos pad itself into the guitar. You build an X Y MIDI pad into it that then controls the chaos pad. Uh, yes, we have. We've done a fair few. Tanya, look at that gorgeous birdie outside the window there. Oh, well, I can't, because then I'll be in the camera view. No, the camera's on me. Oh, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> beautiful red chest and black and grey. I don't know what it was. Okay. Um, He'll be back. Yeah. So yeah, you, uh, XY MIDI pad, uh, I've installed a lot of those. And uh, yeah, it, it, works, it works quite well. Uh, now, go on to this one, I've got... Paul Cook wants you to put wood in the kitchen cupboards. Well, you can do that if you can eat wood. Can you survive on wood? I, uh, I eat enough wood in my day-to-day -day life that uh, I don't feel the need to. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, speaking of record power, this is a record power um, pillar drill. I'm not sponsored by them. They just make some pretty good tools. The yeah, storing wood. I'm not sure the kitchen would be the best place for it in the first place. To be honest. No, our kitchen's very damp. It's, uh, speaking of which, I'm supposed to be phoning the guy who's supposed to be um, redoing it. We've, how long have we been waiting now, Tanya? Well, we've lived here for two and a half years. That's how long I've been waiting. Uh, so the, the kitchen, but we actually, so COVID happened. Uh, where the hell is my chuck key? Did you chuck it? <laughs> How many chuckies would a woodchuck chuck if he was a chuck an idiot? Um. <laughs> Terry Love sent a super chat. Bless him. He says, "Dear Mrs. Crow, how about getting Mr. Crow 
to teach you how to build a hurdy-gurdy. Come on, people. One day I'm going to have to just give in and have an idea and say, hey, I'm going to build a hurdy-gurdy. I don't know where the chucky is. That is, that is a problem. Well, not really. Okay, here we go. Um, I've never tried to use my Leatherman as a chucky, but it's a Leatherman. It'll do anything, won't it? Hmm. Haha. There we go. <laughs> Ah, beautiful. Gregory H is asking, how's the 4x4 guitar go doing? Is that a sore question? Um, so I haven't made any progress on it. Um, the... Hold on. Yeah, I thought I'd just done that. I set the depth stop at zero, which is a bit silly. Um... <sighs> I haven't made <clears throat> any progress on that at all because I have been moving the tool shop over and uh, yeah that's caused some really I've <laughs> yeah it's taken a lot of work yep okay so I'm going to drill to 20 millimeters for this somebody's suggesting you should vary the day that you do the stream because there may be people that just can't watch on one particular day. I, whoops. We could, <coughs> we could very, excuse me, we could very easily end up with streaming Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And I tend to work Mm, I tend to work faster. We make a lot of video, that's for sure. Okay, so... Mark Sim sent a super chat. It might be a bit too late. He says you've left your chuck on the bench. <laughs> no, it's just taking the piss. I, honestly, the chuck is normally in a thing Are you sure that's here. not at that on the bench there? Oh my God, you're actually <laughs> right. Seriously? Why didn't I take the chuck over there? I was fully prepared. I was fully prepared to blame a child for stealing it. Oh, there we go. If nothing else, we learned that uh, you can actually use a Leatherman as a, uh, a rudimentary chuck key. And also that uh, it was entirely my fault and always was. It always is, isn't it, Tanya? Okay. I don't need to say anything else. This could go horribly wrong. No, everything in me is saying that while this is actually working and giving a really cool effect, uh, I want to do that by hand with smaller drill bits, at least to get through uh, the aluminium. VTR Addict has sent us a super chat, thank you. He says, Star Wars plus Ben equals a guitar that needs battle burns. <laughs> burn it! Burn it, I tell you! So, yeah. Essentially, taking such a large uh, cut as that, I was worried that when I went through to the glue, it would grab and rip everything out and we'd just be really, really messed up here. So I'm actually going to go through uh, with a hand drill and uh, do something else. 
Somebody said that bird sounds like a cuckoo. Let me Google cuckoo. Somebody says it was a bullfinch. Oh, no, bullfinch. I think it's a bullfinch. <sighs> hmm. Somebody said, did you find your scraper? Oh, is she? No, I've got my scraper. So the scraper last time. I, 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 knew, I know Talitha did something yesterday, or at least she's pretending that she did something yesterday. Um, well, just don't know what. I should have routed all of these pickups and all of these holes in the aluminium before I glued it on. I should have. I realise that now. Nope, wrong camera. <sighs> yep, yeah, okay, that works. That's nice and soft. Uh, let us just go and see what happens. This is a very nice Famag 15mm force a bit. Oh, hold on. Start with a pilot home. Meant to do that. So that's warming the aluminium up a lot more than the standard twist drill did. <clears throat> okay, I need to make a hole big enough for my router bit to go into and then I'm just going to slowly Slowly remove the rest with the router bit. This is not an elegant solution. Questions? Uh, yeah, somebody's asking, um, do you make guitar cases? If yet, would you make one on a video? Or it's something that uh, has come up. It's not my area of expertise. But it is something that I would like to do, uh, for sure. Okay, I don't want to heat this all up too much because of the... Uh, Someone's pointing about a nice evil laugh. I'm not sure if that's you or me. Project diversion. Ben builds a chuck key. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't put it past you. Neither would I. <sighs> yeah, somebody's saying the bigger the hole, the more friction and more temperature, so. Yeah, that's sort of what I was feeling when I was on the uh, on the pillar also, drop. Also, those, those little bits falling on the floor, are they hot? Uh, no. no not. Well, they're relatively hot, but only for a very short space of time.
Somebody says they've seen my shoulder. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> abort, abort. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I think no, it's not tall enough. Okay, in 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 this position, what I would actually like to do would be to make a template that's just got all three. Let me see. So I can spend a little bit of time making a template that's got all three P90s on it in the correct position and maybe even the tremolo position. And then when I'm using the router, it's just the same depth, change the depth and go through as opposed to masking tape and super glue, individual P90 uh, templates in place and then spending a lot more time actually doing it. I think I will go with the, uh, with the former thing. Uh, aluminium is quite soft, it just gunks up drill bits, um, forcing bits like this. I think Talitha is uh, en route as well. Um, Hmm. Okay. Now, template, templato. I need a, I need material taller than the headstock. John Chapman says, how about using a ring saw to cut through the aluminium, then finish with the Forstner bit? A ring saw? Is it too late? It's too late. I'm a bit slow. Uh, you're not slow. Um, I'm not sure what he means by a ring saw, though. Basically, it's... Oh, hold on. No, I know what you mean. Uh, 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 yeah, a, a circle saw kind of thing. Uh, yeah, that might actually work. But um, I've already... I've already roughed out. And uh, made a lot of noise. No, uh, no. I wonder if I've got any MDF. Outside potentially. Somebody's glad the watch talk is over. <laughs> oh, I don't know that? what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, uh, there's always somebody who asks me what I'm wearing and uh, I don't get to talking about watches. I'm just looking outside. Hold on. Whew. It's nice out here. Chicken's out, by the way. Hmm. You can still hear me, I'm uh, in another shed right now. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Found some MDF. Oh, do you know what? That was a waste of time. Entirely. Okay. Um. 666 girl says, can I get a shout out to my partner Fiance Paul, please. He should be working, but I'm pretty certain he's watching you instead. Paul, <laughs> you're, you're in trouble, mate. <laughs> well done. And uh, yeah, hey, how's it going? Uh, I love it. 
I mean, a lot of people are both working and watching. There was one guy yesterday uh, working and watching and noodling, playing guitar at the same time, for what it's worth. Um, so there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy. So template making is something that you have to do. Um, it's just a regular part of life. And uh, I start wherever possible with a master that's been cut on a laser cutter or something like that, uh, like this from Crimson. And then you'll use that to, uh, <clears throat> to make the template that you actually need for the guitar. Now, what I've got here is a chunk of really nice birch ply, actually. <coughs> but hey, needs must. Center line. neck Dave Lewis is asking me if I have any tattoos I have two small tattoos but not on my head 22 I had not on your head now I, I would love to get more but I don't think that I will why not why not yeah um <laughs> That's a, that's a complex question. That is a complex question. Probably not one for a public forum, maybe? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> 22. Um, we didn't have the best of experiences with the last one, did we? I've never regretted my tattoos. I've always thought about them carefully. I wouldn't know what that's like. Um, 30. I, I would like 35. it if, if um, people probably won't understand where I'm coming from but I'd like to see really nice quality fake tattoos become fashionable because I'd like to have to be able to choose to have something one day and then you know have something else or just a, as a way to express yourself but it's not permanent but I think there's um I, I think there are um companies that make them but I think it's kind of it's more stigmatized to have a fake tattoo than it is to have a real tattoo I uh, yeah I agree with you on that. I think there's a there's a lot to be said for for thinking about things. I've moved this too far that way. Um, I could have done it right up against the no I couldn't. Mm. Too busy listening. Um, yes, so those those sleeves that that you pull on that look that make it look like you've Im immediately got a tattoo sleeve. Uh, actually do look kind of cool but when you realize that it's just fabric like a poser <laughs> so yeah i don't know is it any more posery to have that than it is to be covered in tattoos argue slay me in the comments okay I need to clear off the bandsaw. I need to masking tape and super glue this in place so I can just do the cuts. Um, and uh, I would like to, uh, on the pillar drill, just drill out the, the mess beforehand. It makes it quicker and easier. So uh, yeah, let's do that first. my water bottle. There we go. Lots of comments on the on um, how to deal with the aluminium. Um, okay. <clears throat> uh, a rotary tool. Um, yes. Make a template. That's yeah.
So the template is, is what I'm doing at the moment. Somebody says a grinder with a cutting wheel to take most oh. aluminium out would be the best in my opinion. That's really, uh, that's a really good idea. That is. I'm on camera. Pickups are, pick are down here. Yes, uh, I think that's a that's a fantastic idea there. I think um, I will use, or at least I will see an experiment with using a. A Dremel for that. Uh, I'm going to turn the main microphones off for a second. Okay, I'm going to need to change. I'm going to need to change batteries in the main audio at some point, and they're not too distant. Okay. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Audio, I need something to drill into. The biggest problem I've got with this workshop is the fact that I've got, I don't have very much scrap wood or random bits of material like I do at the factory. a super chat okay from Matthew Caffell thank you with all the yellow tools in the workshop Ben should get a bumblebee I like that idea <sighs> somebody's asking if we get snow rarely but Occasionally. <laughs> ah, yes, the bumblebee. But can you transform it? No, I delegate that to my wife. <laughs> um, I'm glad I actually had that on my at, in my workbench. Um, come on then, uh, drilling.
So as I go through the uh, the plywood, it's the last bit's chopping off, so I need to stop and start. Sorry. Very annoying. Oh, that did it. Nope, that didn't do that one. Yep. Ow, that hurt. Pain. Are you bleeding? Uh, no, not entirely. It's not that bad then. I, I like sympathy though from when I hurt myself. <laughs> So if you push through it, uh, it works. So that's the pickups, uh, the pickups done, and uh, the neck end one. Robert Newman says, can you say hi to his skin law, Adam? To who, what, who? To his skin law, Adam. His skin law, I have never sure what heard that, means. that term. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> but uh, it, it looks like he should be working and he's not. Adam? All, all of this talk reminds me of the uh, staff password uh, for the Wi-Fi at Crimson Guitars, which is uh, along the words of get back to work, you filthy buggers. Um, hey, Adam. Uh, I am very appreciative of the fact that you think that this stream is worthy of you uh, missing work for. I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm being a bad influence on a lot of people right now. Lots of people are talking about lovely tattoos. I, I am owed. I am owed a, a really cool sleeve. I just can't figure out what I should get. I would like it to be something based on, you know, on the channel and what we do and guitars and stuff like that. But I just can't make up my damn mind. Somebody's recommending henna tattoos. I think those are beautiful, yes. I henna tattoos are gorgeous. They last relatively long as well, don't they? I think the dogs are making some noise up there. We've had a super chat from Terry Love. Thank you, Terry. Terry. Have any of your kids inherited Ben's ADHD and casual attitude to pre-planning? <clears throat> all of them? Yet to be diagnosed. <laughs> um, we think all of them. We're all a little bit unusual. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. I think so. Um, okay. It doesn't appear to be the front door yet. I think Talitha is on her way. It might be the, the postie. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm just going to make this one more cut and okay. then we can go back to normal.
I've just got the words cavalier attitude to pre-planning. Just going around and around and around and around in my head. It's called, it's called... <laughs> there's no, no, there's no justification, is there? <sighs> no. Okay. I don't know what it is. I either go for the literally the biggest chisel I have or the smallest. This is less than a millimeter wide. And it was the wrong one for the job. Okay. Um, masking tape and super glue trick. Our uh, Lord and Master. Oh, our Lord and Master. The masking tape and super glue trick. No, that's really bad. Forget I said that. Got any queries? Any questions? Any comments? Um, I'm going through, I'm, going, I'm trying to catch up with people there. Um. A lot of these are being answered in the chat. Which is fantastic. This is one of the reasons I absolutely love this community. Um, Somebody wants to see you do a Bumblebee Transformer guitar build. <laughs> I, I would love to do that. I'd also love to know where my mask into it. Mm. Okay. It's not on my bench. Whoever actually spotted that the Chucky was on the bench, so thank you so much. Wow. Oh, there's some. There we go, that's not where it belongs. Nope, that's a dead roll. Hmm. It's almost as if I use it all the time. Okay, emergency, we're down to my last two rolls of masking tape. Batten up the hatches. Okay, you've had a chat come up from Alex Forshaw. It says she's a member. Of that, uh... Hi, Alex. Yeah, so we've we've got YouTube members. Uh, there are YouTube members who uh, pay a small fee and get uh, behind the scenes, uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, and she says, "Welcome to all that jazz." <laughs> Oh, so no, it looks like, have they just, just signed up as a member? I don't know. I think that might be the case. Okay, well, thank In you which very case, much, Alex. Yeah, welcome to the cows. My, my, masking, my masking tape is being all naughty. Yes, YouTube members, there are, there are various perks in the back end. Uh, uh, there should be giveaways and things like that, as well as exclusive discounts. Uh, at Crimson Guitars, but also uh, <clears throat> behind the scenes footage uh, has been the standard. And now we're doing this live stream, which is about as behind the scenes as you can get. But uh, early access to things, uh, edits, etc. I'm trying not to cough right now. <coughs> okay. Robert Newman says he meant his son-in-law. So to the son-in-law, Adam, hello. Son-in-law, and he called him, oh, Slaw. I got it. It was Slaw, wasn't it? No, Skinlaw. Oh, Skinlaw. <laughs> I don't know if it was a... <laughs> it, it, it made me think about um, uh, the, fact, the fact that all our politicians are uh, lizards, actually. Um, 
I don't actually believe that. Please, nobody believe that I believe that. But um, yeah, it's like, okay, skin law. Yeah, maybe that's this whole sort of alien thing. Anyway, son-in-law, Adam. Hello, son-in-law, Adam. Okay, uh, first template in place. Uh, let's set up. Let us set up. Yeah, well, it's, it would be cool to, um, it would be cool to have maybe one of my guitars or, or elements of some of the guitars potentially, but um, I don't know, I, I really don't actually, no, camera three, camera three, there we go, uh, so maybe even favourite tool. Um, okay, so they should be telling you that the audio has just died. Got the batteries. good there we go well done uh, thank you for letting us know camera three ah now that was something that I meant to do this morning I meant to set up the extraction under here and that didn't really work. I was off, I was off buying glue. So Tanya, could you sort of rescue this hose and put it out uh, all the okay. way underneath you? Under? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Which way? That way? Behind? Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, it's underneath the guitar. Oh. Bag. Bags. <laughs> if you want to pass that to me, I can get it. Uh... If you hold the hose, <laughs> I'll okay, lift so... the bags. Oh. Jeez. What have you done? Uh, it's uh, it's going to be an avalanche. Yeah. No, you're going to have to pass that guitar back to me all oh, the way. I can't even get it out. It wasn't supposed to be down there. It was hanging on a hook and then the bag broke. There we go. Right. Got it? Okay, give me the bag. You want that? You put that wood back. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need a, I need a bigger workshop. <laughs> Are we good on sound now? Are we okay? Yeah, the sound should be absolutely fine. Okay, there we go. This actually reaches. Aha! Perfect. Okay, good one. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. Um, that was uh, that was somewhat foolish. Okay, so I'll be routing. I'll use a dust mask and uh, and goggles. I want to change to. Do I want to change router cutters? Let's see. Yes, I do. So this is a taller, it's just a two flute one. That I've tried to take the bearing off at some point. Okay. 
Okay, Tanya, next to you, there should be some isotunes for you. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm going to turn off the main audio. No, I take it back. I'm not going to turn off the manual. I'm going to change the router cutter first. So this is super easy, super easy on a Triton router. Turn the power on the router off. Then take the lock off. And you pull the router above the level of the bench. That locks it off. And then you find your... <laughs> spanner that I lost yesterday and I now can't find the one that I found to do it with because I'm because my workshop's too small and disorganized. Do -de -do -de -do. <sighs> there it is. Woohoo. And it's just a super easy unclip. You can change the Call it entirely if you need to. In this case, it's just a bigger router cutter, of a taller router cutter of the same dimension. There we go. And then once it's uh, once it's down, you turn the on off. The on off that's another word for a switch just in case you didn't know there's your height lock it couldn't be easier i have spent far longer doing this on uh, yeah on other router tables okay so See, I keep on checking my phone just in case Talitha is at the door. Tanya's sitting there smiling in the corner. They're good people, aren't they? Excellent. Okay, mic's off. Mic tunes on. So Talitha yesterday brought an extension lead with her because she thought she might need it for the uh, for her computer. I used that to plug this in, and uh, here we are. It's, uh, not working. There we are. Okay, hold on. Story off. I'm running up to the house quickly to get an extension lead. Tanya, you're going to have to talk to them and uh, have to talk. answer questions and things. Yeah, entertain. entertain. No. Oh no. I'll be back in a second. Oh, no. Well, apparently you behave more when your wife is watching. Do I? <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. I think that's why you're saying about the PPE. I think it's because I'm here.
Give us a tune. Oh no, no, nobody wants that. Hide something. <laughs> um, no, he does that himself. Oh, he's left his mic on. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, I, I, I do wonder what he's saying if he's got his mic on. I, I really, I, I wish I could build a guitar, but it would be pitiful and, and so disappointing. All right. Here we are. All good? Yes, yeah, we're okay. Apparently you left a mic on. I don't know if you said anything strange. I didn't. I did leave the mic on. <coughs> I never say strange things. Never. <coughs> My I think you need some cough sweets. I do think I need some cough sweets. I was wondering, my love, if you would mind going to that local cafe place and uh, getting us lunch at some point. It... Uh, I might have to go soon because I'll have to leave for this school run before too long. Yes. Uh, it's just about to plug the router in. I wonder if the router's on. So you need on. a coffee. <laughs> There is that too. I can't remember jokes. People ask me to tell a joke. I, I'm one of those people I can't. Oh, yeah. I don't no. have a good memory. I can, I, I, I can be quick witted and. In, in the circumstances. With a retort. Yeah. And sarc I'm good at sarcasm. But I. Ah, uh, no. My favourite joke is what do you call a bear with no teeth? What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Oh. I like it. I hang out with children all day. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> That's what you get, I'm afraid. <coughs> okay. Um, the router is now all sorted. Tanya, if you want to put on your isotunes and turn on the extractor. Okay. I'll turn the microphones off.
we've had lots of comments about your using a template three times to make a template, so you don't have to make a, use the template three times. Yes, I do. It's it's not about having to use a template three times. It's about having to change the depth of the cutter every single time, and then changing cutters because the initial cut I'm going to use is probably not. I don't have to make sense. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, super chat from <laughs> Franz Truter. Franz. Ben, you don't need a bigger shed. Just implement the five S's. You're banned, you're banned, you're banned. Sort, simplify, shine, standardize, and sustain. I like you, Franz. Don't forget, kiss, keep it simple, Stupid. silly. Um, what was the five, what were the other ones? Five S's. Sort, sort, simplify, shine, standardize, and sustain. Could you take a photograph of that? I need more of that in my life. Where's my phone? Um, I am going to be reducing my uh, collection of tools that are here that don't need to be here. If, if it's a tool, for example, yesterday I pulled this little scraper thing off the wall to use it for the first time in forever and it wasn't ready to use nor useful. I'm, I'm just going to sell it. I'm going to get rid of it. So, uh, so yes, I am going to be doing that. But also, uh, I do need somewhere to expand other aspects of what, it, what the room is now doing into. So I do think that uh, instead of the person who is uh, currently my wife sitting on an uncomfortable stool perched against a uh, uh, filing unit, that should be at a desk, that. You're an object now, my love. Mm. Uh, they, that person should be at a, at a desk and comfortable uh, with a nice computer and, you know, if at all possible, if I'm going to be asking somebody to sit there all day, listen to me prattle on, um, there needs to be a coffee machine there. Or possibly a bar. <coughs> okay. I sincerely hope that's all in the right place. Okay, we have a super chat from Kyle Gunnip. Kyle. Hey, Ben and Tanya. I just wanted to say thank you. You sparked a love for woodwork for me and potentially guitar making in the future. Thank you, Kyle. That's what I'm looking for, the pickups. Um, thank you very much. I, I really and truly few the pickup fits. Um, I really and truly love the, f if it wasn't for guitar building, if it wasn't for my workshop and for making things, I would not be as happy an individual as I currently am. So the fact that you guys are getting uh, uh, some of the same things, uh, it, it makes me happy. Um, so yeah, thank you. Uh, now, one of those actually looks a tad, it does look a tad out, now that I've joked about it, so let's have a look. Where are we then? Do -do -do. Started with the centre line. Mm, Thought I'd marked those off quite nicely. Andreas Savhammer, thank you for your super chat. Just a small contribution to a better chair for Tanya. Oh, bless <laughs> you, thank you. I'm not as fussy as my husband when it comes to chairs. That's one of his. I am not fussy about anything. You are so fussy when you have to sit down for more than five minutes. I. I stand up all the time. This is my default setting. I am at my most comfortable when I'm standing behind a workbench or something I can pretend to my brain is a workbench and standing. Whereas, um, yeah, the second I sit down, it's uh, back problem central. Uh, so anyway. People want me to tell you some of these jokes. I'm going to go back and find some of these suitable, suitable jokes. Hold on. Just taking a fraction of a fraction off here. Let's get a different camera. 
circuit. How do you make toast in the jungle? How do you make toast in the jungle? Put it under the gorilla. <sighs> okay. It's like that, is it? It's like that. I'm, 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 there were some good ones. I'm just... Right. Some of them. Too. Always the best jokes are, are the inappropriate ones. Those are. I'm not going to go there because. No, there are you know. there are a fair few people watching who watch the the channel and the live streams and things with um, with young children in tow. So where possible, we keep it clean. Okay, hold on. That uh, the the built-on chisel needs to be sharpened. Just moving that just a fraction, and I'm moving this one just a fraction. We were out by a cumulative half a millimeter, maybe. What is the best and ideal way to invite a guitarist to a party? I don't know. You should always invite them cordially. Ah. <laughs> oh. I wish I remembered jokes as well. That is certainly one. But... Okay. How does Aquaman process his feelings? He talks to his therapist. That is not a good joke. That, that, that's not, no. There's no way that's a good joke. Down to the bottom, see what's going on now. Hold on. They're going to be telling me not to use my the guitar I'm working on as a workbench. What is sweet and swings from tree to tree? I don't know. A tazi pan. Ah. <sighs> Nearly there. It says check the door. Is, is that? I suppose Talitha might be there. Yeah, it looks like Talitha's here. <laughs> yep, Talitha's at the door. So. Uh, shall I go up? Shall I? Um, I'm going to catch me on film as I go. No, the the camera is currently pointing at me. Okay. Shall I take my mic off? Uh, yeah, let me mute that for a second. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your day. You will be back, I'm, I I'll hope. I'll be back one day. Cool. Excellent. I enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, unclip the mic. Um, it still clips onto your... Yeah. Okay, cool, no worries. Um, okay.
I was so what I was actually thinking was it instead of me pausing the stream entirely to then go away for half an hour and eat, I could we could have two or three of us in here eating lunch in here while muting individual microphones while so we don't chew in people's uh, yeah, ears, but we can still answer questions and things. Hear that going on. But I'm gonna go later drink this. Okay. Thank you, my love. Uh, well, there we go. That was... Um, <laughs> that actually worked out okay. So, putting the centre line on the new template. I don't often make templates on camera. I really don't. But, uh, there we go. So that... Uh, That lines up absolutely perfectly. We've got the uh, offset correct on the trim there. It's set above the fretboard. And uh, yeah, it's all as it should be. I am I am not going <coughs> to cough in your ear. I am not going to grind away the aluminium. I, I just, the router, gently applied should should do it so we're on to a little bit more of this uh, masking tape <clears throat> and super glue if you weren't yet convinced at its usefulness before today now you are Isn't it funny with the, the difference with how I talk um, when I when there's actually interaction and people coming back to me versus uh, when it's when it's just a camera? Hmm. Nope, wrong camera. So this is the thing: you you want to have masking tape that isn't particularly shiny or glossy. And if you burnish it down, it sticks much better. So people who have had issues with this are just not doing it right. Hello. Sister. You bought me some presents. Had you moved Bumblebee? Is that what it was? Yes. That took you ages to find it. Honestly, I just assumed that I'd put it there on purpose. No, it, people saw it. Was Bumblebee over there? He so somebody said, show. oh, you need to get a Bumblebee. And I knew exactly where it was. I was like, oh, hold on, I've got one over here. I didn't even twig that you've moved it. There we go. You cannot prank me. That is not a challenge, yo. Sounds like a challenge to me. What have you got there? <laughs> Life begins after coffee. <sighs> Beautiful. Why, thank you. Life begins after coffee. Well... We need to get a, a Crow's Coffee Co. branding thing uh, done at some point. Um, alrighty, I'm going to mute the main uh, the main microphones just while Talitha gets hers all set up, uh, and we'll go from there. And uh, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, and I've also got this for you from Safi. Safi. From Safi. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh, come on. Me to keep that for you. That's okay. Um, say hello to everybody. There we go. I was wandering <laughs> around trying to find the, uh, the spanner accepted. that I've lost again. Oh, come on. What you did can't I say? Prank he who accidentally what? pranks himself. What did you accidentally do to yourself? Oh, many things constantly. I moved, I hit the, the chuck key. I took the chuck key from where it lives, put it on the bench, then walked back and ended up using the Leatherman as a chuck key because I couldn't find my chuck key. I thought a child had moved it, but it was here and somebody spotted it and said in the comments, and I feel like a fool. Because oh guess what? I'm a fool. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So let's have a look at what we're doing here. Uh, Tanya also wanted to know what you want for lunch. Um... <sighs> I suppose I should just phone her, should I? Could. Yeah, let's just do that quickly. Uh, I need to figure out router bits. I want to start with the one that I took off that. Scrooge says, my wife's name is Tanya as well. Is your wife originally from Eastern Europe? Uh, whatever, whatever you fancy, my love. Basically, um, yeah, whatever you fancy. Yeah, no, I understand. Cool. Yeah, it's probably better. Um, coffee, though, too, please. <laughs> All right, thank you. Right. Terry loves suggest a biltong sandwich. I have some biltong here actually. Um, Marcus Red, Marcus Red. And Scrooge says squirrel. We don't eat squirrel. We've got a Boba Fret logo from uh, from Bear. From Bear already. Do you have it? Did he send it to you as well? He did. I'm not sure. It would be much cleverer if I stuck it on. Um, on screen properly, but I don't have that capacity just yet. Uh, what am I thinking? What am I doing? I'm losing uh, the caffeination. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, Benjamin Aldridge, I usually make the biltong myself, but haven't had time to go to the butcher to get the nice cuts. Uh, so Benjamin makes biltong too. I make biltong. Benjamin Aldridge, do you make biltong? And you need to say the question, otherwise it sounds weird. Um, what was the question about the dent gentleman whose wife is also called Tanya? I'm sorry, I was on the phone to my wife called Tanya. Yes, uh, hold on, let me find it. Scrooge, spelled C-R-U-O-G-E. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. My wife's name is Tanya as well. Ben, is your wife originated from Eastern Europe? Um, no, uh, her, what have I done here? I think what I'm doing is I'm using a... But you didn't answer the question. Six and a half mil. Uh, no, Tanya is British. Uh, her, she has ancestry, well, like all of us, it's all over the place. Uh, but her family just decided that uh, all of the siblings were going to be, have names that begun with T. Uh, they started with Tom, they went to Tanya, Tabitha, similar to Talitha, uh, Teresa, and uh, that, that, was, that was that. So I think it was just a... They like alliteration. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. I wasn't even thinking about what I'm doing, what I was doing, but I have uh, changed the router cutter. Paul Needs says, while at lunch, rub some Vicks Vapor Rub on the soles of your feet, Ben. Not a prank. My wife used it successfully with really ill kids, kids while a kid's um, ITU nurse and even convinced consultants of it. I've heard of that. Yeah, no, I've heard of that. Um, 
Uh, Is your cough back? <clears throat> I'm feeling a lot better. I really am feeling a lot better. So uh, I'm not too, that's not too much of an issue at the moment. What is an issue is um, wondering whether this, I need to lay out this workshop again. Will it reach? I think it might. I agree with Tanya, that stool is very uncomfortable. Yeah, I, we, need to, we need to build an extension to the workshop like we discussed yesterday. It'll come in time. I don't believe in saying things will happen in time, I believe in doing. Fine. <laughs> get a move on. What? I'm doing something else at the moment. What? <laughs> okay, uh, your job, whether you choose to accept it or not, is to have reminded me there was a camera in the way. Come on, people. Um, Scrooge says, thanks for the answer. By the way, Tanya or Tatiana ah, yes. is pretty popular in ex-USSR and other Eastern European countries. Yes, I am. Uh, <sighs> Tatiana is a lovely name. It is a lovely name. It's one of my favourites. I... <sighs> my lungs are a little bit too bad. Um, I'm currently listening to a book called A Gentleman in Moscow, which is set in sort of 1920s um, uh, Russia, which is uh, interesting, very, very interesting. Um, okay. Before you, there's a super chat from France, which I don't understand, but you might. Okay. Poloni Gatsby, ha ha, three cut. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I think Explain, that might just please. be. That might just be me being stupid. Ow, I just pinched my finger in the head of feathers. Okay. No. This audio off. Um, fingers crossed this does okay. Camera two's very zoomed in. Aha, that's better.
So there we go. I could feel that something was a little bit awkward, a little bit weird. Um, is that Tanya? Yeah. Haha, it's lunchtime. Woohoo! Um, and uh, what happened is the router cutter decided to uh, disengage from the. Oh, there's a puppy. puppy cam. <laughs> um, are they scared? Hold on. Where have we got? Okay, you might see puppies. Anyway, that. Uh, are you not Jasper. joining us, Tanya? Um, no, I'm going to leave you. Jasper. To that, all right? Jasper. Oh, you've got children to pick up and stuff as well. Okay. Jasper. Thank you very much, my darling. Alright. Um, Jasper's found something. <laughs> yeah. Found pup, pup. Good boy, Jasper. No, he's just he's just experimenting. Okay, um, so the we have different collets for the Triton. It's uh, six mil, a quarter mil, eight millimeters, half mil. Um, sorry, half an inch uh, and a quarter of an inch. I don't know. Anyway, basically, I think Good boy. that whatever I've got here is the wrong combination. So uh, there we go. Good boy. Uh, now the nice thing is that while routers are scary, if the cutter falls off, it's a simple, uh, it can very, very well enclosed generally. And just crumbles around and does its thing. So I need to, yeah, I need to not use that one. Instead, aha, use that one. That does feel better. No, maybe not. Weird. This, this router bit's a strange one. Okay, anyway, so uh, uh, what we've got is, uh, I've got my lunch. I'm not gonna stop to eat it. I am going, oh, well, I'm sort of gonna stop building to eat. But you guys are gonna talk to Talitha. Oh no. And she'll answer me questions. So... And when I'm not actually actively chewing, are we unmuted? We're currently unmuted at the moment, yes. Yeah. So the real reason he doesn't want to leave this, the workshop <laughs> while I'm on the premises. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, that's better. So, uh, so yeah, that cheap router bit from Axminster seems to have a weird... Um, I suppose it's a fairly soft shaft and that's just worn away so it now doesn't want to hold. Uh, at the depth that I wanted it to hold. So there we go. Uh, in other news, the the routing is actually going very well. There's an error. YouTube is not receiving enough video. Uh, that should not be a problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. If you guys would just let us know if there's an issue with the stream, uh, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. Terry Love says, so Ben discovers something he can't use his leather man for. What was that? Uh, probably tightening the chuck. I did consider it for a second, I really did. Okay, so yeah, basically ask questions of Talitha. I am going to uh, mute my microphone or just... Yeah. <laughs> We've got a super chat from Rocket Punk Art. Rocket Punk Art, how are you? I, I kind of want to see your art. That sounds... Uh, sounds fun. Sounds... yeah. He says, hey Ben, I just finished trim routing the body on my second guitar ever. Congrats. I've filmed myself in the process. Do you think I can still apply that for GGBO? Um, Wow, that's 
a really, really, really nice lunch. Um, <sighs> and are you you muted, aren't you? No, no, I just don't have my microphone actually with me because I don't want okay. to chew in people's faces. So considerate. Uh, yes, absolutely. I also don't want to leave a blank screen for half an hour. This just makes a lot more sense. Although I am now aware that I'm pointing a camera at myself while like a th how many people? A thousand people watching? 825. Close enough. I'm going to move the camera off another way just for that matter. And there's no cows in the field. There's no cows in the field, but there is certainly one in my because you want to prank me. You're in trouble now. Apparently I behave better when, when Tony's here. I wonder why. I wonder why she knows where I sleep. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to be off camera eating. Okay. And Talitha is going to ask questions and I will mumble. So can Rocket answers. Punk Art enter his second guitar ever in GGBO? He's filmed the process, but he's done it before... The announcement. I think as long as it's built in this year, it should be okay. But uh, yeah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? <laughs> I've got yeah. exclusively loud food to eat. And a salad. Your crunchy, wife cares about your salad, health. Crunchy crisps. There's <laughs> there's um, there's a box of um, there's a box of. A box of carrots and, and uh, I suppose the cucumber is not quite so crunchy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> camera two, no camera three. That's you. There you go. And aye, aye, aye. sweet tea guitars is a member. Thank you for joining mm. us. Um, all that jazz level. Seriously, thank you for your support. <laughs> Terry loves super chat. Ben, buy the field to build the larger workshop. Don't even, do not even tempt me. I, I. I just had a really good idea. Oh dear. I want to buy the field. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, when we moved, the second we bought this place, and this is our first ever house, I started talking to my wife and saying, do you know what? Just honey, you know her. Um, I could, we could buy the field. And it's like, I suppose it's about seven thousand pounds a an acre is what you're supposed to pay for commercial land. It means I wouldn't have cows scaring the crap out of me at eight o'clock at night when it's dark, just right next to the window, which happens. Anyway, yeah, it's a, a good idea. So you went from your first shed, the field out the back had sheep and was a Shetland pony, regularly. At times, yeah. To now full of cows. And every so often a loud tractor. With with a workshop that had zero windows in between. True. I'm literally using my, my the guitar I'm building as a table for my lunch. I'm okay. surprised nobody's shouting at me. <laughs> Everybody shout at Ben. Appropriately coffee. themed coffee mug, I see yes. Sorry, what what? Appropriately themed coffee mm. mug. Thanks, Arthur. And I bet Tanya did that on purpose. She's got that kind of sense of humour. She's, uh, she's awesome. Toby Duffin says, Talitha, Ben was talking about making a workshop apron with his old sofa leather yesterday. Has he seen Adam Savage's one-day build of his apron worth a watch? Yes, I have, and it is worth a watch. I like Adam Savage's videos. Mostly. I think um, <clears throat> I think you should have a setup like what we've, we've just built here <laughs> instead of iPhones. Arthur Castanguay says, "Of course he'd buy the acre, put a bigger shed on it, and have cows at the window again." Ah! <laughs> you can't get away from them. I'm going to talk to the farmer. Where's my phone? Yak Custom Guitars says, it's okay, it has a template coaster. <laughs> yeah, it does have a template coaster. Stephen Bradley says, can you not eat your lunch off my guitar? Fine. How's the raffle going? 
I haven't checked the raffle actually, so yeah, uh, the, this guitar is available. I'm just logging in to I see. I really regret the fact that we're raffling it off. I want this. You're going to have to make another one. No, I, seriously. I really like the shape. I think with the different headless hardware that's actually headless, it would be amazing. So what parts of the headstock are you cutting off? Google Mandalorian rifle. Or just remember what it looks like. Controversial opinion. What do you mean? I didn't really enjoy the Mandalorian series. Not season two. Ban yourself. <laughs> There's three little buttons next to your face. They don't work. <laughs> Not IRL. Oh, that's cool. You... <sighs> yep. I enjoyed the first series, kind of. And I really enjoyed watching the making of and how they made the series. But I didn't enjoy this. Anyway, 2,890 tickets sold. So, sorry, say that again. I was too busy being appalled. 2,890. The odds are still very, very, very good. I'd like another 5,000 tickets sold, please. No, well, um... <laughs> forget all of that. Forget this guitar. Just everybody, please. We need to... What's that whole thing? You, you cancel. Cancel, Talitha. <laughs> Zach Richard has sent about 50 shocked faces. Thank you. Yeah, me too. Mandalorian Boba Fret rifle raffle from Dave Dave. <laughs> Seven hundred and fifty two people watching you while having lunch. Ben you have reached the top. Thanks, Thomas. And uh Jonah Inuk Inuksuk says Ben ate off my guitar would be a good statement. <coughs> I mean, it's there, it's on the bench, it's clamped to the bench, I'm not moving it. Um, we have evidence. Chicken cam. Ah, oh, it I moved. She moved. She moved. Caramel. She is her own chicken, she's not an it. Hey, Caramel. Um, I, th I honestly thought that... Well, let me know what you think. Seriously, would, would you rather I stop, run away for 20 minutes and leave a blank screen, or do what we're doing at the moment, where... Um, after I've done that, I'm assuming you've eaten the um, Yeah, I had to take mum home, so I had a bite to eat. Yeah. We were both at Crimson this morning. Fair enough. Well, this is the thing. I think doing it this way, um, and then when I'm routing and stuff, Talitha can go and eat, and there's no real s stopping of the whole flow and all that jazz. <laughs> Old school Barbie. Ben, your sister needs sacking. Didn't like Mando. Mm. Many exclamation marks. Uh, Toby Duff and Talitha, you need to put yourself on the naughty step with Terry. You didn't put Terry on the naughty step again, did you? No, not today. No, I was tempted to. I was tempted to. But, uh, Why? What did you say? Uh, just, it would be hilarious if I did it once a day to the same guy. Uh, just to build the movement. You know? So, challenges. Um, Terry says something. To... Oh, he said a few things. He, he has. <laughs> He's, he, he likes pushing it. That's very funny. Um, no, I think I'm. What I'm envisioning is um, something of a re-education camp, really, for Talitha, where she has to sit in front of a computer or a TV and and watch Boba Fett over and over and over again until she. Uh... What instead of editing for you? That sounds like a holiday say, to me. I didn't say that. Sounds like falls a in my plan. holiday. <laughs> Tahoe Mike says, lunch, it's what's on the bench. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, Sawdust Passion, thank you for your super chat. Could you build your own headless hardware? Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, <clears throat> 20 years ago I did for a, an 8 string bass that I made um, and yeah it, it, it worked okay uh, it's not actually difficult to it's not difficult to do it is not that complex uh, to actually do it yeah it takes some skill but but from a complicated point of view it, it really isn't that bad um, so yeah um, not in this case though well, you didn't want to do any hardware because it was meant to be a Shush. one day we've build. had that poll already like 68% of people said don't cut the headstock off we're not okay, opening fine, up fine. that particular can of again okay. yak custom guitars uh, laughing emoji you haven't lived till you've had lunch off your current build it's something I do regularly when obsessed with a project mm hmm Oh, and Terry says, I haven't started to push yet. Uh-oh. I'm looking forward to this. Challenge. I mean, we have the high ground, we have the ban button. But I like you too much to ban you, so... <laughs> it's like, yeah. And we need to welcome a new member, John Savage. John Savage, welcome, welcome, welcome. What currently do members get, and what are we planning to, uh, to do with memberships? Because the whole channel is is changing and growing, especially with the new live streams and stuff going on. Yeah, that's... So when you do a proper Saturday project or a big build... Mm -hmm. You're on camera. Yeah. Um, the top tier of members get the unedited basically live stream of that pr particular project but these live streams well you haven't done so the last major projects people were getting raw edits for uh, is the hand tool only build and you haven't done that which for i haven't half. filmed this month because it's been crazy yeah and other tiers are on supposed to but we haven't done it for a while uh, get exclusive um, episodes from you so answering an interesting question talking on a particular topic showing a technique and that's exclusive to the middle tier members <clears throat> for a certain period of time before we make it public in an ideal world that's what happens in an ideal world I would be filming 14 days out of seven the whole the whole reason for this new setup yes i know that's assumed in an ideal world there would be 48 hours every 24 and i would be able to no, use in an ideal film. world you'd be cloned and i don't think we could cope with two of you there can be only one <laughs> uh, Yeah, anyway, look, it, it's one of those things. Basically, um, I am starting to film short tutorials. Now that I've set up this, the, the new workshop system with all of these cameras, uh, and it's so much easier, if I've got an empty workbench, I can click on a few buttons and start filming and, and have an exclusive tutorial uh, or mini lecture or something like that. Uh, I am starting to film a load of that sort of stuff from next week once this build is finished uh, assuming I finish it ever and uh, <laughs> and that will be going as uh, exclusive content um, released at least three or four months before uh, it goes live on the main channel now what I've done unfortunately is we we did things like answering questions exclusively for members and things and then started doing live streams, which meant we stopped getting questions from members because they could just ask on the live stream and get it straight away. Mm. So I've, we've sort of shot ourselves in the foot. Uh, would you guys mind giving us ideas of what you would like to see for as, as membership perks? Now, there are discounts on Crimson Guitars as well, obviously. Yes. Um, I don't know how regularly they get updated, but each tier gets a certain percentage off um, your orders from crimsonguitars.com 
We should, now that we have Bear, who is designing more merch for us, t-shirts and things like that, we should give our members uh, first dibs mm -hmm. or pre-orders and discounts on merch, um, things like that. Very cool. Now, what would you like to see? Let us know in the comments. Because uh, I have painted myself into a corner by doing live streams, really. You have indeed. Speaking of which, Letha, on Instagram, we do need to do, <clears throat> to go back to doing that weekly Instagram question thing, because Instagram is not YouTube. Yes, so and that now well. that we can, you know, interact, be in the same room together. Experiment. <laughs> Um, this is a really big plate of food. You don't have to eat it all in one go. Hell yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the camera's on um, you. Here we go. There was a question. I can't find it now. Oh, Lisa. Hey, Talitha. Which software do you prefer for editing the Crimson mm. videos? I currently use Adobe Premiere Pro and the Adobe Creative Cloud for all of the graphic design and photo editing that I do for Crimson. I have in the past used DaVinci Resolve, which has a free version, and that's very good. The free um, version is amazing. Yeah, and I'm considering skipping between the two. Um, yeah, I hope that helps. And I edit on a Mac, if that helps, but there are PC versions as well. Uh, Stephen Bradley says there can only be one. No, there can be only one. Yep. Thank goodness for that. We're, we're quoting Highlander. David McLaren? David. Mac... No. I said that wrong. M-C-E-R-L-A-N-E. McLaren. McLaren? I don't I, know. I, I, the... the, the all those letters flipped in my brain as he was saying them so honestly i'm even more david lost i'm before. so sorry david, how are you? david has just joined can we get a recap of where the guitar is up to it's currently a table <laughs> for my lunch but you've just begun routing the <clears throat> pickup cavity yes we'll do a recap as um as i'm getting into it because i'll then be able to move it around okay uh, remind me to do a recap before we start filming here yeah Terry Love says clone Ben in a tutu. Ben too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Paul Anthony, out of curiosity, would Ben be interested in doing wood and resin builds or alternate material builds? Aluminium necked, for instance. You're quite keen on doing a not alternate material but a uh, recycling or upcycling mm -hmm. old furniture old pieces of wood yes absolutely so uh so yes uh, what Lisa just said about going on free cycle craigslist or something like that and taking an old piano and turning it into a guitar that's something I'm, i i really like doing and would like to do on a commercial level actually um i have done a resin a wooden resin build I do not like plastic. I think that it's a. Uh, I think that that particular thing ha is hopefully coming to an end soon. I will do more of them. We've got a big resin table that we're going to be making for Crimson because uh, uh, Tom and Sam love resin tables, so we're going to do one. Uh, I did a resin guitar where it was two pieces of three thousand year old bog oak, so very black and I gold leafed the inside edges of the live edges and then had clear resin in between that and that looked incredible. We've actually made, commercially sold, uh, three or four of those now. Um, I would like to do something similar to that. What I'm saying is resin just for the sake of using resin, is, it's, it's heavy and it's plastic. Uh, if, you can, if you can make something that's visually stunning, that has a purpose other than just, hey, this is a resin build, it should be fairly clickbaity. That's how I feel about that. But alternate materials, yes, emphatically. Um, there are 
several things that I'm really interested in looking at in the short term, actually. Uh, Yak Custom Guitars, thank you very much. He says, whilst you're here on the live stream, Talitha, I'd just like to say you do a magnificent job with your editing. Thank you. And Actually, that's, that's, that's bad. Talitha does the, uh, the other videos. I really am far more naughty when Talitha's here and, and my wife isn't. Yeah, he... I'm so sorry. I'm just being mean for the sake of being mean. Maybe it's just, you know, the time of day. Maybe. Or I just bring out the worst. In I'm realised that I, I'm, I'm realising that the one thing I'm, I've miscalculated is the fact that I would normally be sitting down for at least five minutes while eating. But There's anyway. a very uncomfortable stool over here. Uh, no, You're welcome I'm, to I'm it. Good. I'm good. There you go. <laughs> um, Zach Richard, question for Ben. He's just had a mouthful. I'm considering doing my first guitar build for GGBO 2022. Mm -hmm. Acacia. For a guitar build, mm. question mark. I'm building a double cut junior style with a Firebird pickup. General thoughts and advice appreciated. It sounds amazing. I've never used Acacia, but I have seen it and it looks like it should be something that's perfectly viable for guitar building. Um, it sounds like a very cool guitar, I'd say go for it. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Sawdust Passion, is this the normal amount of waffle you have to edit down? To be honest, when he's alone in the studio, he doesn't tend to talk to his, to himself this much. No, no, this this is... Oh, wow, sorry, I smoothed the camera by mistake. <laughs> I didn't realise that was the one that was uh, live. Um, no, normally, uh, my rule is as much as possible I will self-edit before they get the footage. So essentially, I will literally shave seconds off because it, it aggregates into mm. hours of work. Also, when you're filming yourself, you are generally explaining. So what you're talking about is relevant to what you're doing. Yes. For the most part. <laughs> yeah. I do digress. I do digress. That is true. You do. Corbin Musso says, good morning, first coffee of the day, dedicated to you, buddy. Terry Love, can fruit woods, apple, pear, etc. be used to make a usable guitar, or are they too soft? to answer because I had a giant piece of apple in my mouth there. <clears throat> uh, most fruit woods are incredibly very hard, very 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 good woods. Uh, pear is used a lot. Uh, pear is actually a traditional wood for fretboards of viola de gambas and uh, uh, baroque instruments. Uh, it's used a lot in backs and sides as well. The issue is actually the sizes that you can get for one uh, for two, Terry, I honestly thought that you were gonna, your next message was gonna be uh, trying to wind me up in some way, shape, or form. But that was actually a good question. That was a so, good question. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, Talitha, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind filling this up with water for me at some sure. point while I'm doing this routing uh, stage. No problem. Can I ask another question though yeah, before go it goes up in the feed? Yes, absolutely. Stephen Rigg, I did ask this earlier, but I think it got missed. I've just glued together a neck through blank from an old oak door panel. Cool. But I remember Ben once saying, don't use oak. Am I remembering correctly? Okay. Um, so my issue with oak is <clears throat> that I was a narrow minded fool. There's, there's nothing wrong with using oak. Uh, the only issue with it is that it's a, it is a heavier wood than other woods that could be used for necks. 
and I was l less talking about mechs than talking about solid oak, solid body electric guitars, because that would be a fifteen pound guitar. If it, mm. if you're talking about uh, English oak, now red oak is something else entirely. I've never actually held it, but I, I understand that it is lighter and you know more resonant and all that jazz. So uh, most woods, my opinion is now that most woods are, can be used. For guitar building. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to mute this. We are. We are about to crack back on with the routing. So after um, after dropping a route a bit in the guitar, which was a little bit embarrassing. Still can't figure, figure, quite figure out what happened there. Um, we're good. Do you have the proper chuck key? No, the chuck key was for the, uh, the, the Dremel. But uh, the Dremel, the, the Pinadrill. We're fine. Okay, now. Um, Talitha. Oh, hold on. There we go. So, audio. Uh, any more questions? Any more super chats? Anything that I need to do before we go back to routing? Uh, just Sweet Tea Guitar saying, I've seen a pecan... There is no just Sweet Tea Guitar. There is no He's just, cool. Yes. I like him. I've seen a pecan top set that was gnarly and beautiful. Yeah. And someone else saying, Jake Richard, I've seen a mango wood used. It's Ooh. beautiful, especially the figuring. So... Uh, I just turned it off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've seen mango before. That's really nice. Corbin Musa, pretty much all oak is super heavy. We have white oak on our property, and it's almost as that's mean. It's almost as dense as I am. Don't be, <laughs> don't put yourself down. You can't be that dense. You're um, you've come to the right place to learn about guitar building. Does that make me arrogant? Anyway, look, I want to get with this routing, um, extraction. And uh, if you wouldn't mind filling that water up and uh, sure. uh, I need to pass, get this pipe extraction on and, and uh, I take the plate back as well, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Uh, thank you very much, Letha. I appreciate your support. <laughs> I can't say the word thank you without saying have you clicked like and subscribe. Like, subscribe and comment even when below. I'm, yeah, even when I'm in conversation with <laughs> children, with my children. So. By the way, if you haven't yet subscribed, seriously, what the hell? 810 okay. viewing. Okay, story on. Extraction, please. Woo! Wow.
Well, <clears throat> well, well, well. So first of all, first of all, I needed to uh, I need to sort out this workshop so that I've got uh, extraction where I require it. Second of all, Talitha's just arrived. Hold on. There we go. Second of all, you can see the aluminium is actually a little bit harder than I thought, and that's knocked this uh, uh, router cutter off center. So really, I should have listened to you guys. I should have listened to you guys and cut away the excess aluminium first. Should that be a new t-shirt? I should then have listened to you. I guys. should have listened to you. Um, no, because that implies that uh, the person wearing the t-shirt should listen to me, which is just arrogant and, oh, no, no, and no. wrong. It's going to be a t-shirt that marks. you have to wear every time you're on camera. Okay, so what I've done is I think I actually destroyed two collars. <laughs> um, yes. We have a super chat from Renee. Renee. Monseo, maybe? Opinions on modular guitars. I think potentially that's incredibly cool. I think that could be. Uh, hmm. uh, okay. So, by the way, the guitar itself is absolutely fine. Uh, Most of us buy guitars because we want another guitar. Not necessarily because that other guitar will bring anything majorly different to our lives. You know, yes, 335 versus Strat versus Les Paul, there's broad characteristics of that, but I think it's 50-50 this guitar sounds this way and I need another guitar. Uh, therefore, Having a modular guitar actually won't do so well in the market, I don't think, because of that. However, yeah, I may be wrong. Uh, I do think they're very, very, very cool though. Now, <laughs> Mr. Trilby says so we now have the. O oh, bun, why no PPE? And the I should have listened to you t shirt, Teespring. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change. I'm still not listening to you, by the way. Um, I'll just keep talking, it's fine. <laughs> no, not to you, to them. <laughs> um, I'm going to go from a, uh, a two flute cutter to a half inch. Uh, shafted three flute cutter. I'm going to rat away the bulk of it and poop. Sweet Tea Guitars asks why you don't hog out the aluminium on the drill press. I started doing that earlier on and uh, it was causing trouble. Oh, I could. Yeah. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. Hear what? Oh, uh, you're on uh, right in front of the camera. Well done. Uh, nice there sir. we go. Two. Okay. Thank you. I've changed. I've changed cameras now. And have you changed your mind? Uh, no, I, I don't want to go on the drill press. Uh, there's too much margin for error whereas I really do think that the larger route of it here with the three flutes uh, will work better. The aluminium is really really soft I don't understand. Now the only thing is I'm gonna have to go back with the uh, smaller uh, router just to get into the corners in a minute. Gody the roadie says the t-shirt should say I'm a luthier I can hide my mistakes. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot. Um, okay, so, 
yeah, that works. Um, also, when I started, uh, when I started those cuts, I was actually pushing far too hard. It's it's relatively thick. It's two millimeter, two and a half millimeter thick aluminium, and I was in my head routing wood. Okay, go on then, slay me. Leaf is smiling far too much. Uh, Nick Thornhill says nice. Nothing says Ben Crow like being on day four of a one day build. Yep. Awesome work. Why, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, extraction please.
All right then. Um, there we go. That worked. That worked very well. Uh, it was a little bit scary, um, but but with a now my issue is I need to go in with a, <clears throat> a quarter inch cutter, and I'm not sure if my well. Let's have a look then, shall we? Uh, do we have any any queries or any comments or any um, uh, witticisms? Benjamin Aldridge says it's a crying shame and a missed opportunity that you didn't say suction. <laughs> Surgeon. <laughs> um, and then some advice on cutting through the aluminium. People saying small cuts, slow and steady. Um, someone asked why you didn't burn through it first with a welding torch. Um, slight overkill. <laughs> and uh, Terry Love and Mikey Copeland are both vying for uh, the timeout. Are they? Are they now? Well, Terry's warning Mikey that uh, timeout could happen if he continues with that train of uh, commenting. <laughs> okay. And someone also said, i trying to find it, that the router is just sharp of the key of C. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. There we go. That's actually... Um... Yeah. That should. That should do. Um, now, Radian do a, a three flute cutter of this size. I just don't happen to have one here, which is a pity, because I like Radian cutters. Um, so, uh, hold the router over the edge of the board, figure out when the bearing is going to be where you want, use that to set uh, your death stop. So I can't go deeper than that. Now the wonder is, yeah, that's actually about right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mikey. I've just been accused of being a grass. <laughs> ah, she works for me, yo. <laughs> uh, okay, so... <coughs> and Tobias says he literally fell asleep to the router noise for a little while. It's um, at the right level. Yeah, I understand that. I completely, I go off piste, I go off in my brain somewhere else. Uh, yes, I was taking very, very gentle cuts. Um, so the router blade is moving around clockwise. <laughs> I had to think about that. And if you go with it gently and slowly, um, taking very, very small cuts, uh, also with wood, um, that's the way to do it. Now... Mark Schoen says it's heat that bent the router bit. Wood absorbs some of the heat, the aluminium won't. Uh, it wasn't bent, it was... Um, uh, that, would, that would have scared me, actually. Uh, it's the... It caught, went a little bit weird in the, uh, in the metal, because I was taking too much, and basically damaged the collet, unfortunately. Okay. So we're currently... 10 mil deep and yeah we've got about another seven to go on this I will then measure it and confer with the uh, uh, pickups and see one, how we're doing one more comment yes uh, subby 057 says it's difficult to compete with the witty live chat veterans but here goes I just want to pop in a thanks for inspiring me to build my first kit guitar. Cheers, mate. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, send us photos. Yeah, we uh, every Monday I try and do a guitar of the week. If people email guild at crimsonguitars.com with photos of your instrument and a little bit of information about you and your build, I'll feature you on our Instagram page. Fantastic. That's a one of those great big helicopters that carry stuff. It's loud. It is quite loud, yeah. Mm. 
Uh, not as loud as my router. Nothing to okay. be loud as Okay, I'm you. pausing my that. You turn in that that. No, 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 say the word. Suction!
So we have, uh, we have success. It's all good. Uh, I need to <coughs> route deeper. At the tremolo, but that's about it really. should do it okay uh, questions comments criticisms <laughs> deja voodoo said when will this man. guy stop routing around and get on with it <laughs> joke <laughs> <laughs> and then quite a few people saying um, trying to find the beat to the router and you know some kind of Backing track to it. Oh, GP2 or GPII? Hey, hey, Mr. Ben, the router is talking and I can understand it. 
Should I go to the hospital or just start writing down what it's saying? Just start writing it down. Absolutely. And uh, Rene Monseo responded and says it's repeating the word coffee. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't so say no. Another coffee. I would not say no. We've got a super chat. Thank you. From IFAX saying, shouldn't the guitar have a back plate over the trim so it looks like a docking bay? Uh, that is not a bad idea, although... Hmm, how do I feel about that? Okay, so because my... I was planning on leaving it open because that would be easy. <laughs> <clears throat> essentially this router cutter is very very deep which is what I need but that means that the bearing isn't when I start routing going to be uh, confined by the template this is bad not good the opposite of good in fact so what I need to do is go through and drill, I need to drill through with the Forstner bits in a couple of places quickly. I'm not going to bother taking it over to the uh, spindle sander. Uh, I'm just going to do it here. I think your router turned your isotunes back on. And oh, just... Dave Lewis wants to know what you're listening to. I am listening to... Uh, I can never remember the title. A Gentleman in Moscow on Audible. Um, we really need to get some sort of an audible bloody... Yeah. Uh, I've got hundreds of books on audible. I absolutely love it and I don't... We, we could earn a little bit of referral stuff from yeah. it potentially. But uh, no, I, uh, I listen to audiobooks or podcasts or uh, music to a lesser extent, but uh, mainly books. Mm. It's a very good way to distract my brain from everything that's going on in it. Andy Sword is joining us from Kentucky and Kentucky. says, how's the weather over there? We have pretty lots good. of snow here and keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, weather's actually pretty good, to be yeah, honest. Well, the sun is shining today. So. Yeah, it's strange. I'm just going to drill straight through the back from... Uh, uh, yeah, straight through. Come on then. Let's make, let's make a gap. Put that there so it doesn't move. Bit uh, of a clamp. Terry Love wants to know if there's something under the guitar so you don't route through to your bench. Uh, there, there will, this will be set over a gap, much exactly like I've just done with, um, with this. In fact, I mean, I'll probably just leave it here. So, uh, yeah, when I go through, it'll be over a, over a gap. Uh, the pickups turn out to be, I think, pretty much exactly where I want them to be. Um, camera two. That'll do. Now there may well be a little bit of tear out here, but I'm also expecting it to uh, be routed away later. trying very hard, am I? Is that Triton route, uh, drill approach type or... Yeah. So I can post it on social media? Uh, I think at this... <laughs> I'll just hold off on that one. Uh, well, it's not currently in production. It is a prototype. Okay. Uh, one of two in existence, actually, which is quite cool. <laughs> Dave Lewis says, Ben, I thought you might have been listening to Enya. Route away, <laughs> route away, route away. That's a, that was pretty. Okay. 
Ed Kovacs says, why don't you use a sacrificial piece of MDF or plywood underneath as another layer to drill through so you don't get tear out? Uh, if I cared about the tear out, uh, that's exactly what I would do. Uh, I also don't have very much, well, it's over on the other end of the room. <laughs> So in this in this particular case, tear out isn't an issue because I'm going to be routing all sorts anyway. Now doing this with the forstner bits is going to make the actual routing process much, much, much easier. Um, <laughs> honestly, don't worry about it. No, I'll I'll shoot up to the house uh, at some point. Um, yeah, I suppose you need a toilet break. There will there will be something of that sort at some point, I'm sure. How many people do we have watching at the moment? Nine hundred and twenty-three. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Mondays are better. Sundays are much much better. Mm. But uh, I think I might do the odd major project on a Sunday every now and then but um, but yeah a Monday live stream now I didn't do the recap I'll do that after I've done the template yeah mm. sweet tea guitar says those for mag Forstner bits are supreme they really are they really are well they're funny enough that one wasn't a famag that was just out of my drawer How um, you? that's a snappy it's not as good as the famags um, okay uh, suction? Okay, well, 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 guess what's happened? 
You routed through. I routed through. Um, and that's exactly what we planned for. So, woohoo. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, recap. I'm just decapping it. Hold on. <laughs> now, what happened there, my friends? I'm tearing the masking tape up. Is that I was able to set the depth that I wanted to cut and the router cutter that I wanted to use. And because I took the time to make a template, it was just bang, 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 bang on four cavities rather than uh, having to do each one of those processes over and over and over again. So uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, time well spent. So recap. Could you pass me my brush please? It's on the uh, work centre. Thank you very much. Or a super chat. Um, I am happy to take a super chat quickly while I just clear my space. Uh, Renee, there's actually two from Renee. I missed one earlier when we were talking about t-shirt. Um, Sorry, Renee. Captions. It's all Talitha's fault. It's totally my fault. And now the joke is. Sorry, I just, I just delete what I just said. His idea for a t-shirt is uh, you can't teach stupid. <laughs> <laughs> to go along with uh, your shirt that says I should have listened to you. Yeah. And the latest uh, super chat from Renee as well is a Darth fader as mm. a pickup selector and EQ. That could be great. Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, linear pots to hand. I do have the right round cutter though. Just while I'm here, let's get the next cutter up. And a lot of people in the comments suggesting names, but we did the poll yesterday. Yes. Uh, yes, this guitar is called Boba Fret, and the serial number is C3P90. I love it. Okay, so by changing the router cutter, I've got a router that I can now put flat down because the other one was far too long. Now are you doing the recap? What are you talking about? I'm really happy with the cap, cap that's on this guitar. Um, Woohoo! Okay, fine, cool. What we've got here is a guitar. <coughs> Ish. It's a guitar that's in progress, it's a camera in the way. Now, remember this guitar could be yours. There is a raffle currently live, ending on the 22nd. On the 22nd. So actually the day of the super edit of this. Is this the super I don't know. Probably not. I don't know anymore. I've lost track of everything. So the raffle ends Saturday. And everything that we filmed yesterday is going into Saturday's video. Everything that's being filmed today is possibly, potentially next Wednesday. Uh, probably Wednesday next week, maybe even. It depends. Are we giving Bear a weekend break? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> um, He'll have a, I don't know. What do you think, Bear? Bear's not actually watching this. Uh, Bear's frantically he's trying to edit okay. Saturday. Anyway, let's recap this stuff. So what we've got, people, is a, 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 a guitar that I was supposed to do in a day as a stream. I'm trying not to sneeze. Bless you. Did you just say something? <laughs> I think I blew my brains out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, I should just mute the mic next time. Uh, so, Ross Goodley, yes, the raffle will close technically before this guitar. Well, before it's finished? I'm hoping to finish 
maybe not today. We'll see. It doesn't really matter. Basically, you will. The people in the raffle will see uh, in the super edit that's going live on Saturday. You will see some footage of whatever I get to today, just to say, hey, the raffle is live, and this is what the guitar is actually looking like, uh, because it looks much better now than it did uh, at this time yesterday, even. So uh, yeah, anyway, look, uh, the recap is that uh, I've just weight relieved it by taking out three P90 size holes. The trim is in progress. We glued the aluminium top on yesterday. We have decided we're gonna stick with this headstock, albeit make a few changes. I'm gonna cut a slit into it so that we can uh, turn it into a Mandalorian sort of rifle, uh, which is gonna be super cool. I need to carve the neck. I need to do a little bit of chamfering on the back, but for now, it really is a little bit more uh, routering. Yeah, that's what I said. I did say that. More oh, routering? Uh, tremolo. Oh. Trim buff. So, uh, yeah. Sweet Tea Guitar says, I've lost 26 hours of build time in my shop because of this, and I couldn't be happier about it. Hashtag always be learning. Always be learning, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. I think... <coughs> Whew. And Ergo Hog says, make a bass to go with this and call it the Rebel bass. I, I really do want to do a Rebel bass. I've... Um, uh, we've talked about that one in the past. Uh, okay, so while I'm, while I'm here... I don't actually need, what I need is a larger bore. Let's go for eight and a half mil. That should do. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on that. And after you, after your sneeze, sorry, are, what? After your sneeze, there are a lot of jokes, and the latest is from Purple Dracos, saying this is snot the guitar you were looking for. <laughs> okay. Fine, I do need a long drill though. Boyan Z wants to know what finish are you going to put on the aluminium. I'm tempted to have no finish at all. Put on the aluminium? Yeah. So to let it oxidise or...? Yeah, just do what it wants to do. Okay. There we go. Mike Hubert says, Poli polish it so it looks like Mando's armor. Oh, I don't think we have time for that. It's going to be hard, <laughs> enough to, hard enough to photograph as it is. And Will Zudema is tempting fate and a uh, timeout with uh, <laughs> the aluminium is just like Ben's guitars, not finished. <laughs> that doesn't get you a timeout, that's just funny. Dave Lewis wants to know if you're going to engrave the guitar name and dates into the aluminium. Some swirly copper plate engraving would look good. That could that could be quite cool. I'm, I'm not planning. No, I don't think so. Although that would look cool. Um, mainly because my engraving is not particularly uh, good. Subtle. I lack subtlety. So, let's see. Ernesto says, well, it runs with a the theme, right? 
A proper Star Wars ship also has some patina on it. Yes, absolutely. And Frugal Fixer Spike says most of us drill that before the neck to be safer. Um, how would you do that? <laughs> um, yeah, you can't really do that with a three neck. It's a little bit more problematic. Okay, so it fits. That's all good. Um, that's obviously too high. So this is, I didn't quite consider all of that. Um, okay. Oh, this is a great comment from George Davis saying, what a group of people that we can learn something, have fun with clean jokes and enjoy people from all around the world. Thanks, Ben. I, it does make me incredibly, uh, very, very happy. It really does. Um, okay. Let's, uh, put this router down for the minute. I just want to catch that. <sighs> Okay. Uh, this this community is incredible. Uh, I feel guilty that there are so many people who are currently not achieving things that they want to achieve uh, because I'm distracting them. But or achieving things with you on in the background. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay, I'm not going too far. chat from the great Thetan. Thank you very much. To say... Cool name. Watching this unedited makes me more confident in attempting my first build. I have almost no tools and get very frustrated, but seeing how you pull it together gives me hope. This... Honestly, guitar building doesn't... is not... At least electric guitar building should not be particularly difficult. If I can do this, then anybody can do this. Hell, I'm struggling to pull some wires through. Um, all right, that's, there we go. <sighs> looky, looky. And Terry Love, in response to his saying, I think it was 26 hours of workshop time lost. Yep. My ambition in life was to be to be a lazy slob and Ben is enabling me to achieve it. Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Pickups line up. That's good to know. Um, so yeah, that's, that means I don't need to worry about springs or anything like that. It's just screw the bugger down. Success. Uh, Super chat from JS Trucking because he has to leave. Oh no. Time to start driving so I'll be ghosting the rest of the stream. We're going to miss you. We will miss you. Thank you again. Uh, you do make these uh, streams uh, cooler. What am I doing? Oh, wow. This Where is great feedback from Lewis, Louis or this. Louis Duke. I must say the response time from the folks over at Raffle has been astounding. Ran into an issue getting my US phone number added. Response to responded to inside of 30 minutes. Okay, so, so there was an issue with a US phone number. Okay, that really is very good. Uh, essentially, the the raffle was the one we did with Shred, which has been won. Uh, although Talitha, could you uh, drop Tom a message? He needs to get. Uh, it still looks on the back of the raffle that the guy hasn't uh, claimed. Dylan hasn't actually claimed the thing. Um, come to think of it. Um, yeah, we want to ship that off to Dylan as soon as possible. And uh, <coughs> the whole thing was a test for GGBO. 
<coughs> my lungs are fried. Um, <coughs> that extractor is very powerful. There was no dust in the air from the routing. Sorry, I was watching a chicken. Easily distracted. Squirrel. She's just up, up there. So. Okay. Mm, where are we? Ten past three. Stuff is happening. Um, okay, so that pickup also has... Uh, yeah, it has a screw on the side as well, so I'm just going to do this quickly. Okay. Fantastic. That, did it, did it. that is our rechargeable batteries recharged. Aha. Super chat from Lisa Harshberger. Lisa, hi. Looking at words, waiting for reply to Ben said email. Excited to do my first instrument build of U Base. You are inspiring me to build it. Thanks. Drop Sam a message and say check out for a message for Lisa talking about ukulele bass because Ben said it's one of the best things about the live stream is uh, yeah, we can make the, the business itself move better and more efficiently as well okay look <laughs> ah. um, wow we're almost at the stage where we want to start worrying about a soft workbench look at that it's also starting to, I'm starting to get a feel for what the guitar is going to weigh in the end and it's going to be relatively light, relatively. <laughs> Tony Homewood says, I love Ben's enthusiasm, his willingness to always learn. He inspires me to work harder on the things that make me happy. Keep it up Ben, an inspiration always. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I will never stop. Um, <coughs> just, um, just clarify that your cough has nothing to do with COVID. You oh yes, very good point. Have recently done a test. Consistently, constantly. Um, I've had, uh, I've taken three lateral flow tests uh, in over the last two or three days because I have a cough, and it's not. It's not COVID. Look at these bloody annoying though. Just it also nice. seems to be getting better. Okay, so... Just checking. That's good. So I'm obviously using a template from... It's one of the Crimson Guitars... Um, one of the Crimson Guitars templates uh, for a Custom 22. Hmm, I seem to be slightly offline. Oh, of course, so the, at the end there, I haven't used... Okay, so uh, I used a large radius bit to go all the way through, which is uh, meant at the back. It's not as uh, clean as I would like. I need to get the tremolo. Bom, 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 bom. Will Sudema says i like the mouse poop excuse ben used earlier or was yeah. that yesterday <coughs> it was the other day so there we go that's the that's the line there i mean that trim looks pretty damn cool doesn't it uh in reality it just needs a better headless locking system and we'll be uh, we'll be sorted um yeah, so the coughing, there's been a hell of a lot of 
there's been a hell of a lot of dust uh, in the air around me at Crimson, even though we wear masks at Crimson all the time. And uh, um, yep, that lines up nicely. And there have also, we've been clearing the mezzanine, which is turning into a luthier supply timber store. Which has been very dusty. Which was very dusty, and there were a lot of mice there. Um, so, yeah, over Christmas, the mice seem to have gone <laughs> insane and uh, bred a lot. Super chat from Eli Echo. Echo. Hi. Have you ever thought about doing a patterned plywood fretboard? Yes. I think it would look awesome. Thanks for all the content. Can't wait to build my own. Um, less, sorry, not so much uh, plywood as I have played with uh, making patterns out of ebony, etc., which really makes me happy. So, uh, there you go. Also, that gives us. Uh, Back. Okay. Well, let me draw a centre line. <coughs> then we'll see how far off we are. that out so far. Of course it needs to go over to the other side. seems to have uh, just moved a fraction over, which is fine by me. <laughs> Michael Francis, this is a nice comment. Okay. The desire to make a guitar versus the desire to make a perfect guitar must be considered as either or until one finds out by experience. Huh. I don't think I've still, I have yet to make the perfect guitar, to be honest. Uh, I've also just realized, thankfully, that the trim has uh, just enough body thickness, it's not poking through the back. Phew. <laughs> um, okay, so what I need to do is uh, plane the back. It's uh, camera three, I'll put this in so you can see. Yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much perfect. So uh, I need to plane the back, the back down, so we've got that uh, nice and flat, and then that'll give us a good area to route off, and uh, and we'll go from there. I'm avoiding the loudness just for a minute. Mm. I think that gets a little bit boring. Thank you for all the cough and cold remedies. There's lots of uh, hot toddy, whiskey and mm. honey recipes being given. Yeah. And uh, Vicks on the sole of your feet, etc. So thanks very much. Yeah. And I'm... a lovely, from Corbin, <coughs> an Amish health tip. Okay. For lung problems, lay a very thin cloth on your chest, then layers, layer slices of onion, and strap it all down, it will help draw out the nasty stuff. Yes, I, we used to... Uh, we used to do the sugar and onion cough remedy. Yeah, which, I love that. Um, you like it, I hate it. Oh, I love it. Uh, okay, now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Shvalian says... Mark, mark, plane, measure, measure, mark, measure, mark, measure, plane. 
<coughs> Don't make me laugh. And Mr. B Fox one seven seven five says mark and then plane the marks away. Hmm. Uh, yes, I have just, uh, and I did it yesterday. This this time I actually know I'm doing it though. Um, Yeah. Okay. Have I ever told you about uh, our Lord and Saviour who masking tape and super literary? <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt. It should be. So yeah, I just need to... I don't want to damage the fretboard, obviously. Revy says Mark, and then have some coffee. Yes, I think I could do with that. Um, it does mean I'm going to be leaving the uh, workshop to leave you in the workshop Yeah, people alone. have pointed out that you're not letting me make you coffee. No, I'm not letting you, I'm not letting you make me coffee. To be honest, uh, the last, the coffee yesterday really did nearly give me a heart attack, and I have a fairly high um, tolerance. It was it your were. own coffee out of your kitchen yeah, cupboard. Yeah, I think you put in a lot more than I normally have. Uh, there's a little bit of a lip here, um, just on the edge. So, a burnished hammer. Knock that aluminium down. There we go. <clears throat> Joshua says, Bun, where is the bean brew? Uh, it exists it in a future doesn't want to leave time the potential. Yeah. Now I'll be there in a second. Accelerator. I trust you guys, I really do. Mm. David Clay, super chat, thank you very much. Says, I know Ben talks about taking inspiration from other crafts, such as watchmaking. Has he ever looked into... Maka E fountain pens, M A K I dash E fountain pens. Loving the live stream. I am diabolically bad at names. So I have spent a lot of time looking at a lot of videos on a lot of people making fountain pens. Um, and probably have, yes. Is, is that, there's, a, there's one video that's just amazing on YouTube of a. a, a a very old Japanese man sitting there and he's got a a lathe that uh, he changes in between being a foot powered treadle uh, while he's putting on the uh, the threading inside all of the pens and then he flips a rope over onto a motor and it turns into a lathe just mind-blowing what he can make these uh, pens yeah. I've just googled they stunning with um, sort of Japanese style Birds that must be either lack paint. of work. Yeah, uh, it's, it's lack of work. It's it's gold, uh, gold dust uh, and stuff. And highly glossed over, so that they're, they're shiny and gorgeous. And wow. um, yes, I can't remember the term for that, which is annoying because I was looking at a lot of videos on exactly that technique about two weeks ago. All right. <clears throat> I'm hurt. Thank you, Dave, Dave, for pointing that out. It's true. That's why Ben is talking up the Sunday live streams. He wants Tam to make the coffee. Say nothing. I, I didn't talk up anything about a Sunday live stream. I said I might be allowed to do them every now and then. Mm -hmm. It's because you want to spend time with Tam and not me. I did not say that I didn't want to spend time with you. And there's nothing wrong with me wanting to spend time with Tam. But you're going back to COVID to spend time with Tam. To what? You're going back to Crimson. I'm going back to COVID to spend time with Tam. I read a comment, sorry. Crimson, you're going to be back at Crimson. I've just got to say, Tom's much better week. at reading than you are. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Louis Duke or Louis Duke says. 
Mac E is decorated with Urushi lacquer. Urushi lacquer, that's and it. And hand done graphics. It can take months to make a single pen. Yeah. No, it's an it's an amazing uh, amazing thing and very very beautiful. And Jeff Gamble says I'm surprised a coffee pod machine wasn't the first power tool Ben installed in his workshop. True. I've uh, <laughs> uh, don't I don't want to waste money on power for an extra fridge and all that jazz. I just it's the kitchen is literally fifty meters that way. It feels excessive. Uh, yeah. However, yeah, I agree. And Joshua, yes, Squirrel does run in the family. Alright, so the grain's going that way. Uh huh, and that way. Okay. Fine. We'll go the other way then. Fine. Mr. Guitar wants to be planed that way. Ian Davis says, shouldn't Ben have prepared something earlier and lifted a finished guitar out from behind his deck? And here's something I made earlier. I wish Ben had the time to do things like that. Two crimson blues. Oh, I'm going back to COVID. Gonna spend some time with Tam. Gonna spend every waking hour making guitars in front of my cam. How did we get here, Talitha? I think. Yeah, I blame you. It's a, what I mean. Seriously, when you actually think about what we're doing right now. We've got a thousand odd people we're, we're talking to. Um, saying the word a thousand people makes me feel better. Okay. Just work with me. Okay, sure. Right, okay. <clears throat> I remember. <sighs> I remember a, a girlfriend a long, a long time ago. Pre time, yeah. Pre, pre, pre. Very certainly pre, Tanya. <laughs> um, I am not some fly-by-night, I want to say the word lollygagger, what even is a lollygagger? Um, and uh, right, right at the beginning of when I started guitar building, she used to sit in the back of the workshop that was actually, should have been the sitting room in the sort of annex that I lived in, and she'd just sit there watching me for hours, and it felt so weird. Yeah, but oh, she desensitised you to being watched. Well, I don't know. It's just like, and I've gone from that and feeling, oh, this is really weird, to uh, talking to thousands of people doing exactly the same thing. It's just become, it's just become what I do. Yeah. A D E eight seven says I have a beer fridge under my workbench. That's dangerous. Surely that's dangerous. I mean, it's a good way to protect your beer. For that matter, it's a good way to potentially weigh down your, your workbench. <laughs> Stop the wobble. No, I, t I tend to avoid drinking in the workshop and this is right at the end of the day. Um, and there is somebody else here. Woohoo! All of my planes need to be sharpened. Good thing you have many to choose from. Well, I think I'm actually running. <laughs> I'm running out of planes at this stage because um, I've used all of the ones that were sharp. 
Taho Mike says there's an old Chinese man with a channel called Grandpa Amu. Yep, we love him. He them. makes amazing things with the simplest of tools, bamboo and a lot of know-how. I think you'll like him. Yes, uh, I watched him making a bridge um, a, week, a few weeks ago. Bridge as in a walking over something. A bridge. Bridge. Yeah. Wow. There's no getting around it. You're gonna have to sharpen something. My bladder is far too full for this crap. Uh, it looks like we're running out of battery on that as well. Um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to change the batteries on this and uh, turn everything off. Hold on for a sec. I'm trying to wait 15 minutes for when the kids go home. the first rule of Crimson Club, we don't talk about the head tattoos. <laughs> no, um, the head tattoos... Very, very briefly, the head tattoos were threefold. I wanted to be famous, I wanted to be well known, I wanted to be recognisable. I have face blindness. I literally couldn't even describe my mother's face to a police sketch artist with any level of reliability literally not that it, you've ever actually had to do that no but I, I literally can't i can i know who you are now talitha absolutely but um tonight after you're gone ask me to actually sit down and describe exactly what you look like i cannot picture your face in my mind i just can't, I, my brain does not do that so i thought okay if i want to be recognizable i need to make myself recognizable Head tattoos, boom, there we go, sort of. I then realized that other people actually can't recognize faces. And it's a thing. Um, and uh, the other op thing, so I wanted to be well known for one, and that involved being recognizable. I wanted to scare the crap out of my daughter's potential boyfriends. She had just been born, and I thought, yeah, intimidating, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, um, the other one was back then, while tattoos were getting more mainstream, uh, having a head tattoo 100% meant that you weren't going to get a normal job. I do not, did not, never will want a normal job. Um, and by normal, you mean office job or exactly, retail yeah. or... Um, now, this was 2008. I had just gone bankrupt due to the financial crisis, crash, all that jazz. Uh, a few of my customers had lost their uh, everything. Uh, cancelled their orders that I'd already built. I lost a load of money. Um, and at that point it was, do I get a normal job or do I force myself to make this work? I got head tattoos, which kind of forced me to make it work. Nowadays, you can get a job in any coffee shop in the in, in, in most of the world, <laughs> looking as lucky I look. But anyway, there we go. You just said that so you could make me wait. Just another three yeah, minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm vindictive yeah. like that. <laughs> Sweet tea guitars, you've got head tattoos? I didn't yeah. notice. I forget about them myself quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, technically he does have an office, not a conventional one. Um, earlier somebody asks what the pal mics we use. Hold on, who asked that? And I 
don't have a lot of time. He's got three rolls. Um. Whoops. Now I know what he means by the palmite cables being caught on things. So we use the Saramonic transmitters TX9s, a set of two, mainly for this purpose, so that two people can be uh, in a stream. Initially it was for what's on the bench so that uh, he could have a lapel mic and uh, the students could have a lapel. Yes, wrong camera. I can't dull up the planes any more than they're already dulled. And thank you Jake Richard for buying raffle tickets. I'm really keen to uh, play with this and it's just getting absolutely dusty in this workshop. He's going to be so paranoid when he gets back. Hide that hat. What hat? Oh, the cap. I'm not going to break it, Micah. bit obvious. He's probably watching the comments. Oh, Crowley, I, uh, it would probably take me too long to sharpen the planes and uh, I'd probably make a hash job of it. <laughs> uh... 
Uh, the cameras, it does get incredibly dusty in here. Do they suffer from the dust? To, to, to a certain extent, yes. Um, mainly the lenses that have a zoom uh, function. They get very gritty in the, in the motion and I try to clean the cameras regularly. But now that he's got so many more, uh, it's a bit of a job. Turn the car the other way. I think I heard the door up at the house go. <laughs> Deja voodoo. Are you sure that gimbal isn't a dormant killer robot? Um, it hasn't moved in the two days I've been here, so I think we're safe. Move the squirrel onto the camera truss. Probably should have. Glue the super glue to the bench. <laughs> okay. I should have moved the camera around so it looks cheer. Is that why people were saying wrong camera? Apologies. Yeah, well I mean, the words wrong and camera in that specific order kind of generally only mean one thing. Yeah, true. Not to be mean. Or anything. No. No, no, no I'm, I'm saying that to be But mm, the main reason I do what I do and I'm the editor is... so that is... you can choose whether you're on camera or not. Precisely. But generally. Not. Yes. Um, okay, so I just realised it's Tuesday. <sighs> Which is a problem. Why is that? Uh, it's the boy, it's Orson's swimming. Oh. I now, I've scheduled this on the wrong day and it's causing some... Orson's like, am, 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 am I allowed to go to my swimming lessons? Oh Shane, what time is this lesson? Now. Oh dear. Pretty much. I think Tanya will take him and Byron. The problem is who looks after the young'un. We could even have him sit in here and play. Wait, Byron is the young'un. Orson needs to go to swimming lessons. Mm -hmm. We don't let the seven-year-old be in the house on his own without parentage. Oh yeah, but you just, just said Tanya could take Byron and Orson. Yeah, Tanya could take Byron along to the swimming, which he would find boring. Okay. Another option potentially is <coughs> that she could bring him down here and he could just sit in the corner playing Legends of Zelda on the Switch that I... Oh, learning how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Okay, anyway, um, any questions, any super chats, any comments? Um, anybody notice I made tea instead of coffee? <gasps> Sacrilege. But it is in a mug with your face on it, so it's fine. With the words, don't be an arsehole inscribed. Really? That's rule number one, don't be an arsehole. <laughs> and rule number two is burn it, ha ha, yay. Um, a, a fan, a fan made it. He took the images that you, that you created and... Yeah, and you posted those on Instagram and he made them up. Yeah. I will never forget the student who came and had a t-shirt made. He came for a course, and he came for a second course wearing the t-shirt that said, Ben Crow called me an arsehole. <laughs> I remember that. He's an arsehole. mug with his mug on it. Glad they didn't say ugly mug. And I mean Frankie, we all know it, you just don't need to actually Frankie specify. Talbot wants to know who are you and what have you done with bun? What, because of the uh, not coffee? Yeah. I tend to stop drinking coffee at about two o'clock in the afternoon. To be honest, I have enough trouble sleeping, um, and i.e. just turning my brain off as it is. Uh, 
uh, Franz Tutter, Super Chat. Franz, Franz Truta. Truta, sorry. From sorry, South Africa. Sorry. Come on, man. Sorry. Man, I, never what did I, I went Afrikaans, Afrikaans, Jamaican. <laughs> I never learned Afrikaans. Uh, he says, just cracked open a 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. Nothing beats Stellenbosch wines. Cheers. Let me know if you want some. Will UK allow wine imports? And do you need any rooibos? Ah, no, honestly, um, thank you for the, for the offer. Um, I think that the import, they would be, uh, there would be a problem with somebody trying to post wine to us. And uh, we've got a really good supply of, uh, I mean, rooibos is in every single supermarket. Yeah, but how genuine is it? It's rooibos. It tastes like rooibos. Okay. It smells like rooibos. Says rooibos. <laughs> um, and yeah, same thing with the with the wine, to be honest. But uh, thank you for the offer. Is that audio still on? Yes, it is. Okay. Woo! Jamie. Great Kramer. Great Kramer. When is Ben going to make a more stable workbench? <laughs> Um, it was only a pigeon. What is it with pigeons? They, oh, that's, is that a hawk? Oh no, it's a pigeon. Is that a hang glider? Oh, it's just a pigeon. It's Falcon! A no, it's a pigeon. Squirrel of the sky. It's just... Yeah, anyway. I like toying with us. Um, when is Ben going to make... I do need to. Emphatically need to make a more stable workbench. This is not ideal. Neither is the fact that I'm standing on things exactly where my feet want to be while I'm doing this planing. Mm. Tidy up. And Benjamin Aldridge. Yes, hi. He said 6 p.m. yesterday. Lies, shenanigans, subterfuge. What did you say yesterday? That we were going to carry on till 6? Or you were going to be finished at 6? Papa, Papa. I say lots of things. Or that he stopped having coffee at 6. Which one is it? Let us know. Oh no, I was having coffee at six yesterday. And there was a problem, okay. I'm pretty sure. Um, that's why when I just said what I said, I said I tend to uh, stop <laughs> early afternoon if I think about it. And I got a long super chat question from Disco Stew. Disco Stew, I love him. Uh, an electric build I completed a year ago yep. sounds acoustically dull. When plugged in, it also sounds too bassy. Have swapped pups and still the same. Yep. I shimmed the neck with some Wenge veneer. Could that be dulling it? The body is... Oh, the word is O-B-E-C-H-E. Ubesh. Uh, I've not used a besh before. Um, it could be any number of things. Uh, if it's dull, the very first thing to think about changing is the nut, actually. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, uh, play with the nut. Uh, it could be tighten your truss rod just, just enough that there's some tension on it. Uh, that could have something to do with it. And then. I mean, if it's acoustically dull and electronically, then it's not likely to be the capacitors, etc. But uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things. Sometimes, sometimes the whole thing just doesn't really necessarily work out as planned. Aaron Lee has commented with the thinking face emoji. Saying, Ben does know there is more caffeine in tea pound for pound than in coffee, does he not? Pound for pound, yes, maybe, possibly. But uh, in my actual teacup? I don't know, somebody do them, somebody tell me. Um, okay, I've had enough of this planing. <laughs> There's a super chat from Eduardo Fran Franca, Franca? Franca. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, controversial. In your opinion, how much does what wood influence the timbre of an instrument? Hugs from Brazil. Hugs. I like hugs. When I when I know they're coming. Um, <laughs> so uh, 
Uh, I mean, this is sort of another way of asking about tone wood, really. Precisely. Precisely. So I think that the wood has a much larger effect than some people think and much less of an effect than others. Um, <laughs> essentially, the wood has a lot to do with the sustain of an instrument, how long the note rings out. And a lot of people think that sustain is not actually necessarily part of the tone of the guitar. And that is bull. Basically without, you know, that is one of the characteristics and that's why I like the way you use the word timbre rather than tone. Um, so yeah, I, I do think that it is a lot to do with it. Um, my ear is not as developed as that of um, many musicians and there are many musicians who really do hear a difference. Now, um, I don't, I don't believe that, I believe that whatever that influence is, is however much the wood influences the tone of the guitar, the pickups eclipse it by orders of magnitude, as does the, uh, the way the, uh, uh, the wiring is done and, and, uh, and all of that. I mean, we were just talking about a nut changing the, uh, the brightness of, of a guitar, and the nut really makes a huge difference. Um, and that difference is heard electronically as well. So, yeah, it's, it's bloody annoying, is what it is. Slave to the ink says, this is in quotations because it's what you said. Oh no. I will plane it to make it easier for the routing, grabs a chisel and starts removing more material. Ah, <sighs> shit. Dang it. Did you forget why you were planing? <laughs> no. <laughs> um. <laughs> just okay we'll leave you to it I don't know anymore leave me alone Seth Freeman sent a super chat thank you Seth any advice on sorting a vague center line on a cheap kit guitar um, your best bet really is to put the neck in and uh, all right, uh, measure the pickups, measure the pickup cavities. That should give you your exact center line. Then confirm that by putting the neck in and drawing using a ruler along either side of the neck and seeing if that lines up. <sighs> cheap, cheap kits are almost never a good idea. They just cause more trouble than they are worth. Black Crow Busker would like to know if you're going to make a belly cut. Well, I'm thinking about it. Um, I also want to sort of finish this, finish this really. Talitha, would you mind going up and talking to Tony quickly or should I just phone her? Uh, would you mind just going up and having a quick chat with Tanya and say if she wants uh, Byron can sit in here off camera um, playing Zelda uh, and tell her that I'd completely forgotten about swimming until Orson came home and said, hey, swimming. God, I hate this goddamn workbench. Excuse my profanity. Uh, NTO Steve says, maybe just take the time and sharpen a plane. Well, I mean, these... Yeah. This one actually is very, very, very sharp. I hadn't realized it was still there. What isn't sharp is my, is my number three, which is essentially my scrub plane. And the scrub plane is the plane that I use to take large amounts of uh, material off with. And here we are. It's 
So I think we've realized that there's just no way I'm finishing this guitar today. But also that it was folly to even... Whew! <laughs> think that I might. Okay, so we're... Uh, we've got a much better surface. Now... Camera two. Whoops. Okay, so yeah, that's not perfect. It doesn't have to be flat though. Um, so uh, let's sort out the routing and uh, we'll sand a little bit of a dish in there and that will do, that will do nicely. I do like a good cup of tea too. I'm wondering if you're listening to Talitha talking to my wife. Let's have a look at the comments. Whoops. Okay. Yep, day four plus more that's uh, you and McGonagall. Yeah, Custom Guitar says, it's okay, Ben, none of us truly believed you would, so you're truly, <laughs> you're definitely not letting any of us down. Um, ben Timon says, if there's an episode five, will there be an episode six? That would make sense because it's Star Wars themed, the Disney films don't count. Um, Elliot McGann, McCann is asking if we'll finish it this year. Probably not. Um, Dave, Dave can hear the Chinook again. The other one wasn't wasn't a Chinook, it, it was a, this might be. The other one was one of those things that he used to dump water and stuff. Um, but anyway, router, it says all right, that's a good point. Corbin Musso says, I don't think any of your viewers are ever disappointed when a project takes longer than you think. I wish I would learn that there just is no there's nothing quick, but well, it is what it is. Okay, so, routing templato. Here we go. Yeah, I think this is gonna be okay. So let us uh, do the masking tape trick, which is now gonna work because we've got a mostly flat surface. I just need to find my masking tape. Has Talitha moved my masking tape? She has. Oh my God. I feel betrayed. Excuse me, I just need to have a word with my sister. Talitha Eleanor Crow. Have you hidden my masking tape? The masking tape that you hid. Which masking tape? Byron. There's a chicken on the roof. There might be a chicken on the roof. I don't distract me with chickens on roofs. Where is my masking tape? You are getting in the way of a guitar build. <sighs> Hidden there. Nobody looks up. Hello, squirrel. Did you know you had three rolls of masking tape? No, I obviously didn't. I, I, I lost <laughs> them. Hey, Byron. You have a big, big tree. Cool. Uh, yes. It's safe. Yeah, the camera, the microphone, the camera is uh, pointing up here. Um, did you hide my super glue? No, you didn't. Okay, that's good. There were suggestions to glue the super glue to the workbench. These people are a bad influence on you. <laughs> um, I did that to myself, but by mistake, actually, several times. I used the bottom of the super glue box to box 
bottle to uh, <sighs> spread the glue sometimes. <laughs> Benjamin Aldridge said masking tape and super glue something of hers as a punishment. I know where she lives. I know where you live. Shush. Okay. Fine. Byron, how are you? Good. Good. You're very good. You're eating a chocolate. How did you get that? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for the swimming. I'll see you later. What? There's a chicken on the roof. I'm going to have to go and get a photograph and put it on Instagram. Okay. Can I squeeze past you? Go under. Under? She's not going to go under You're your too legs. Small. You're shorter Yeesh. than me. I'm not going under. I'll go around. I shouldn't have taken that masking tape off. <sighs> okay. You still missed one of the tapes, one of the rolls. Well, I thought I only had two in the beginning anyway, so uh, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Okay. You did. Was he eyeing your chocolate, was he? You're back. Mm. I realised very quickly that something had gone wrong. You breaking, child. That's a very, very pretty chicken. That's not a pigeon. Watch camera. Okay. Is there a chicken on the roof? There is a chicken on the roof. Uh, I'm running the risk of gluing this template to the back of the body. I wasn't particularly precise. Caramel. Where are you going? Okay. It's not locked. Uh oh. We're locked in until you finish did, this guitar. Did you break my door to leave it? No, I broke nope. your son. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so there we go. Um, now, where I am standing, that's in place, that's in place. Here's the router. Ooh, Groove Dodger, good tip. Found out if your masking tape is rubbish and keeps ripping, put it in the microwave for 20 seconds. I have never tried that. I tend not to believe people on the internet that say put something in the microwave. But 20 seconds is a decent, non-dangerous time. It depends. Where's that child gone? Okay. Um, what I'm going to suggest is that... I go and get the child. Uh, just, if you wouldn't mind sticking with him for a minute while I do some routing. Uh, I'm going to turn the main, main cameras off. Uh, main audio off at least. Okay. And uh, get some cameras going. Um, yeah, just just because I'm routing. If you wouldn't mind turning the extraction on there. Outside. 
<coughs> Power off. All right, there we go. Hello, you beautiful people. Um, that was fun. So Byron hijacked my story, which is um, not particularly grown up, but certainly I, I don't know whether it would be appropriate or not. Uh, <laughs> so that was fun. That happened to me yesterday as well. Some the power switch is very sensitive on. So you stole my, you turned the power on and stole my... Uh... Turned it on accidentally and suddenly could hear the audio book, but you didn't react, so I thought... I thought, so basically my phone every now and then weirdly turns the audio books off because it's had a particular type of notification. I just assumed that had happened. Oh, okay. So, anyway. I uh, found a core rock! Well, I, I You found a, a core rock. You are playing... Um, Zelda. Zelda. Got a core of seed. Okay. Time for the tri tradition. Time for tradition. Okay. Uh, <laughs> distractions. There's a lot. Okay. There we go. Now, camera three. Audio is all good. Uh, I've done that routing. I sincerely... Okay, it's not all the routing. We're not quite finished. We're not... We have not quite finished the routing. We've still got a control cavity to do, but that's going to involve... That is going to involve playing around with templates and things, I think. Revy says, for me, Ben can take all the time he wants, but I enjoy the running joke, so hurry the hell up, Ben. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're, we've been going for five hours odd today with a bit of a stop for uh, for lunch and uh, quite a bit of talking actually. This is, this is the thing, I hadn't really figured on, just to make my excuses, I hadn't really figured on the sheer amount of stopping and answering questions. I hope you don't scratch my screen doing that. Just, just by the way. Soft. Oh. Your screen is... I didn't do that. Dusty. <laughs> uh, uh, there was she also, just pointed out the fact that it's actually cracked. Yeah. Not just scratched. There's also a, a lot of people bringing up the gloves and <laughs> saying you, you got the rest of the PPE while you were routing, but why no gloves? I don't need gloves while I'm routing. Hold on. There's something on the bottom of my shoe. Gotcha. I missed. <sighs> Okay. There we Benjamin go. Aldridge. No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. <laughs> ben Crow finally accepting that PPE is not optional. It's not optional, but there are certain things that don't require it. Yeah, anyway. Um, Talitha, I'm very sorry. Would you mind going in and letting that uh, little dog? He's old and cantankerous and he will just bark and uh, loud it'll the be the, the, the rest of the video him barking to be let in um, okay so what I've realized basically is I'm set up I've got the thing on the front that's holding the guitar to the bench and while I'm here I need to just route the control cavity so uh, that's it we could just I have to climb that whole distance again Okay, um, you shouldn't have fallen off the mountain then. I meant to fall off the mountain. You don't need to shout, you've got ear defenders I on. meant to, oh, I meant to fall off That's the mountain. That's better. So I could, so I could get dragon's hair, which is very rare. Okay. And dragons are very cool in this game. Nope, that's far too big. And they're and they're oh, 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 Dragons are cool in Legends of Zelda, are they? You want fireballs flying around its head? Here you go, baby. Here you go, baby. 
Uh, everybody, I introduce you to my youngest child, Byron. Byron Torben Poopity Poop Crow. I am not your youngest child. You are. I am not. I, I don't have any other children. I have animals and pets and things, but certainly no other children. I Remember made absolutely your... sure of that. Remember, Orson. He's not younger than you. Yeah, but he's still a child. Yes, but I said youngest child. Use your ears, boy. Um, he acts like the youngest child sometimes. Um, okay, uh, templates. I'm looking at some random templates down at the other end of the workshop just for a minute. I do have universal universal cavity joint here. I might just do the job. It also might just be a little bit too big. He just wanted in the house, didn't he? No, he was by the basket. Oh. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no, that is not uh, good enough. That is not good enough. That template. Talitha, so do you have any questions, queries, comments, quotes? JS Trucking's back. JS Trucking, I thought you were uh, in transit, dude. Uh, super chat saying all woodworking requires PPE, Ben. No exceptions. My, my defence as it currently stands is that... I wear a damn sight more PPE than most other people in the YouTube space. Um, Benjamin Is that Aldridge, a good enough argument? I don't know. Benjamin Aldridge says, hello Byron, not Thor Crow. Hello Byron, what, what Crow? Not Thor Crow. <laughs> hey, my name's Byron Stormbringer. Stormbringer. Yes, my name's Byron Stormbringer. You are... I'm gonna stop. Uh, Terry Love is saying, I'm starting to think of alternative uses for masking tape. Laughing um, face. Excuse me? What he just said, Byron Torben Crow, was he's starting to think of alternative uses for masking tape. And do you know what I think he was trying to say? I think he was trying to say that he wants to see what would happen if I took this masking tape here Zipped it. Put it on my mouth. Zipped it over your mouth. You know, you see, he's smart. He's smart. He figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out an hour ago. Yeah, you can see into the future. I believe you. <laughs> yes, I can. So I'm just making a quick custom template here, guys. Um, for Trish Good control has some audio book suggestions if you're interested. Yes, always. Adam Savage, every tool is a hammer. Yes, I have the actual physical book. One of the weirdest experiences in my life was uh, at the last Maker Central, somebody came up and asked me to sign Adam Savage's book. He, he was having every maker there sign Adam's book. Oh, wow. And then he was going to hopefully try and get Adam to sign it eventually with... Uh, that, that, was, that, was, that was weird. Cool. Well, uh, Trish Good is saying that the... Adam Savage's book is read by himself on Audible. So yeah, that's a that's quite cool. And JS Trucking says he's currently stopped for fuel, and he got a super chat just to let us know that. <laughs> Dude, um, I wonder how much guitar building he's going to get to do actually. Um, Okay, so that's there. Hold on. Mr. Trilby responding to Terry Love, uh, duct tape is the better option for that. And 
how would you know this? Everybody knows this from the movies. <laughs> also, France has set a... France sent, sent another super chat saying shimmy your desk to make it more stable temporary fix shim um it's not it's not that honestly it's a um it's the floor the floor is part of the issue but the uh, the workbench itself is just really really unstable period um, wow. Yeah, no matter how much I do, uh, no matter what I do to it, come on. Benjamin Aldridge and Arthur Castigay says, say, silence, and go silence is golden, but duct tape is silver. <laughs> and uh, you're on the same page as Simadakas, who says, please remind Ben he has tracing paper. I finally got there. I also uh, put it down the right so it's curl down. Curls down You're rather learning. than up. I am learning. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. I said. I said well. Because. Talitha, could you please tell? my young son mm -hmm. just how many people are currently listening to him talk 976 people how many people in your class at school 30 so 9 32 32 okay i can't do the math <laughs> somebody somebody on the live stream somebody in the comments tell us how many 32s fit into 900 and 75 now. 975. That's how many people are listening to you prattle on in the background, boy child. Shush. Also, Wayne Parker says we must replay this for him in 10 years' time. <laughs> yeah, good point. Okay. I must say it's very distracting. I'm not. You mean this? 30. So, give or take 30. So, 30 of your classes in one. Too loud. No, turn that down, Byron, seriously. Okay. Not all the way, but just. Yes, more. all the way. Okay. Absolutely. Certainly. 32 classes. So imagine your class. I have to hear them say the <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for responding with the maths query. Yeah. Would this be a graduation or a wedding memory or a 21st birthday from David Ziaslow? Zia we'll see. Do... I'm not sure if I like... I don't, I don't particularly like this. I'm going to draw it straight onto the guitar. That's what I need to do. I need to draw it straight onto the guitar. Okay. Cool. We got it. So... You need to start with what you want the uh, uh, scratch plate to look like, the scratch plate. What you want the plate to look like. And it needs to fit everything. So my controls are going to be here. So it doesn't have to be... <laughs> no. Jags Zan Gif gave the maths question answer in um, Imperial. 30 and 15 over 32, 15, 32. Okay. And uh, Benjamin Aldrich says, Jags, don't put it like that. Ben will rant about metric superiority again. No, I died. Metric, oh, no. metric, try again. metric versus. Boy, you stand trampling all over my joke. Metric sup <laughs> metric superiority over. Come on, now now you've got messed your timing up. Inferior. What's inferior? 
Imperial, inferior. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Imperial stupidity. <gasps> Imperial stupidity. I say it should be called that. Byron, voice down. I say it should be called Imperial <laughs> stupidity. Dimitri, okay. thank you. Don't worry, Ben. I totally understand you. Every time I'm in my workshop, my kids always pay me a visit, and of course they want to play with all my tools. And draw on my flamed tops. Ha ha. Ah, yes. Been there. <laughs> anyway, it's it's all fun and games. Okay, so what we've got here is a little uh, a little back plate. So that's the external design. We could even potentially have uh, have it go through to here. In the end, uh, Melon Cat three thousand. Good luck with your exams. Maths query. Ha ha. Currently studying for uni exams about infinitely dimensional spaces and things. <whistles> Best of luck. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Cause, yeah. That sounds incredible. Okay, there we go. So that's actually got a little bit now that goes on the end. <coughs> So, what I now need to do... <sighs> Creevy says, nice ruler bend. What ruler bend? Uh, Creever I. No, uh, Reevy, R-E-V-Y. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, I used the ruler, I bent... Ah, uh, you do that a lot. I bent the ruler to, yeah, draw the line. Okay. That's funny, it's, so the thing is you... you often see... more... when I'm not actually even thinking about what I'm doing. Because I've got a, such a distracting child in the, in the, in the room. <laughs> Don't blame the child for your distractions. You just do it anyway. I do do it anyway, this is very true. Terry Love says, so the back plate isn't going off the edge. I thought that was Ben's trademark. Do you know what? Uh, not quite a trademark, but it's something I do quite a lot, yes. Um, I didn't even consider doing that on this. And one says, don't forget the round over. Round over? Are you doing a round over? Um, I was wondering about doing a sort of a, a back carve, which is why it's set a little bit further, well, not a back carve, a um, um, sort of chamfer sort of a thing. <laughs> Thank you, Dave Dave. A distracting child in the room and T Talitha and Byron. <sighs> Are you going to bother to come over here? <laughs> The fact that it took me about 15 seconds to actually figure out what had just been said. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm making this smaller. That was a very, very good point. I do want to uh, uh, make some, some more curves here. So... Yak Custom Guitars says a workshop should be a place for kids to explore creativity as long as there's close supervision around machinery, of course. Um, by creativity, do you mean dust clouds by turning on the machine that they were told not to turn on uh, and thus eating a bag full of dust? Does that remind you of anyone? Yes. Did you poop yourself a little bit when that happened? I did. Did he get dust in the face? Uh, no, he ran fast. I thought he'd started a fire somehow. Ooh. Anyway, it's one of those things. Uh, no, I prefer how it looked earlier. Fine. Compromise. Okay, so that's the back plate. Now, in reality, okay, we're here. It's half past four in the afternoon. We've got a bunch of people, a bunch of stuff going on. Do I need... <coughs> do I need to recess the control cavity? I do, I do. I really do. So we're um, not doing a poll? What? Oh, no, no. There's, there's, there's no need to. Um, 
there's uh, there's no question. <laughs> Uh, but uh, what I don't need to do is I don't need to make a second template. I can literally just use a force in a bit and do a custom um, <sighs> internal section. Rob Hudson, welcome. He's just joined us and said, hi guys, only just managed to get on. When's the last episode, smiley face? Are you taunting me? <laughs> Um, I do think it will actually be the next episode. I can't really see this taking that much longer. At this stage, um, at this stage we've done, to answer your question seriously. Oh, Baron, you do need to keep your voice down, my love. Um, <laughs> Thor Crowley says you can't name him Stormbringer and expect him to be quiet. Damn it. Good point. Okay. Um, yes, I've lost. I've completely lost track of what the hell I was talking Sorry, about. Sorry, you were talking about the fact that you think the next episode will be the last. Yes. Yeah, so um, it was. It sort of turned into more of a recap, really. Um, the. This is. We've routed for the pickups, we've routed the trim cavity, the headstock is almost done and I think we're going to work on the headstock uh, tonight and leave that clamped up. I'm just recessing the control cavity uh, plate now-ish. and. Uh, yeah, so the next episode is going to be carving a neck, unless we do that tonight, and and other bits and pieces. Okay. Um, there might be two episodes in there. I don't really know. Elliot McCann says, is there any rosewood left for the cavity covers? Ah, fair point. I was just assuming I was going to use um, aluminium. Could you please do pour? Um, rosewood or aluminium. recap on what the name of the guitar is as people who have just joined us. Okay, yes. <coughs> we need to put that into the titles of all of the old, all of the other videos as well, actually. Uh, <coughs> first of all, I have a bit of a cough. It's not COVID. We've been tested. Uh, I've been tested uh, many times. Um, I, I'm, I'm taking the lateral flow tests on a regular basis at the moment. The last one was yesterday. The guitar is called Boba Fret, with the serial number C3P90, um, which I think is incredibly cool. The, at this stage, a, a lot of it has been done. Uh, I just need to uh, create a template here quickly for the back control cavity cover. You guys are having to figure out whether I make that in rosewood or aluminium. Um, I need to know that before I do the routing because uh, the aluminium and the rosewood is two separate different thicknesses. Come on, what am I doing? That's awkward. Oi, stop being awkward. Aha. Trish Good, do you plan a cover for the trim pocket after you route the recess for that cover? Isn't the control cover going to be too close? 
Uh, no, I want to leave the trim pocket open. I think that looks quite cool. Um, in general, I, I like... In general, I, I really like the look of an open trim cover. On top of that, uh, the back of this trim is actually quite interesting. It's got little white plastic bits and brass and stuff, and it's, it's non-standard, so I think that's quite fun to look at. Okay. Um, if necessary, there is actually enough room as well to have a, a different trim cover on there. Um, two. It would be a bit close. 57% rosewood, so it's close. Hans Truter says, I think the next tool on Ben's list should be a 3D printer. Yeah, I do too, actually. Now that I've learned that you can buy fully eco-friendly 3D printing materials, um, fully recyclable, that's, that means that I'm in. says clearly the back plate should be aluminium layered over rosewood. Clearly. Brian Schiller, next build, Django Fretless. Aldridge says, don't forget the binding. Uh, you can silence him for like 300 seconds. <laughs> no. Creeper eyes. We would never says, do that to anyone, ever. No, just Terry. <laughs> Creeper eyes says, Ben, how do you make sure that you cut perpendicular with that saw? Skill. Um, years and years of practice. I'm. When I analyze it, yes, I mean, very much it's, it's just a lot of it is practice. But when I start the cut, I'm holding very loosely onto the handle. I'm not really guiding the handle any which, any which way. It's very difficult to describe. Um, but the saw is doing the up and down bit. I'm just giving it the impetus, if you know what I mean. Or I could say, <laughs> let the saw do the work. <laughs> what did you just say, young child? We're, we're waiting. Not even listening to you. Nope, he's just smirking at us. <laughs> smirking. I got a new horse! You got a new horse, cool. <laughs> Arthur Castanguay says, shouldn't the cover be made of carbonite? End the poll. I know the answer anyway. Do you? Do you really? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. What, is it? what do you think it is? Both. <laughs> that wasn't an option. Is that what you're doing anyway? I think so. What was the answer? Rosewood, I assume. Rosewood, 55%. Okay. I'm using a skip tooth blade here to cut this. Still relatively fine. Um, relatively hard work as well, but it's, uh, yeah, it's working all right. Michael Farinler brings up a really good point. 
and I'm going to totally negate his good point by telling you now. <laughs> and he says, should we stop with so many questions while Ben is actively cutting? So many distractions. I've, I'd have cut myself so many times by now. Um, I'm fairly good at um, talking to the camera and thinking about the other things while I'm cutting as well. Um, which is lucky. I got all the injuries out of the way early on. I hope. That isn't to say challenge me though. Drat. This has been a template making course though. I looked up. Where are we? Five hours and forty-six minutes. Okay. <laughs> I looked up and I was trying to see where the time was while I was still cutting, and I looked away for a good five seconds before I realised I should probably look where I'm cutting. Yeah, probably. Bourbon sherbet. sherbet Sorry, who? Oh, bourbon. Sh bourbon sherbet. Uh, bourbon, as in the whiskey. Yeah, and sherbet. sherbet. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. He's just joined us. Greetings. Are we actually finishing today? Question mark. Need to know if I need to call into work tomorrow. We're oh. not doing it tomorrow. There is no way, no how, at all. Um, tomorrow. <laughs> no. Uh, we're not finishing. Not today. Uh, the next stream will be Monday next week. Uh, starting at 11 o'clock uh, in UK time and I hope that that one will be the end of the build series but um, but I don't know by that point the raffle will have finished and somebody will own it but uh, all of the basics will be in place already Mr. Trilby says, what's that? Challenge bun? Bun, what are the first 300 numbers of the Fibonacci sequence? <laughs> While you're sawing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and Terry Love says, Drat, you were hoping to play with the first aid quit? Kit? <laughs> I did honestly just hit my finger there. <laughs> I hope you feel good about yourself. Nope. Rock Pile Rising. What, what? Rock Pile Rising. Cool. Uh, says, can you use Talitha time to make the sawing go faster like it does in the videos? If I could do that, you would have finished this on day one. I mean, Talitha did actually avoid the question until I was just about to finish. There's a couple of super chats. Micah Noel would like to know your worst shop injury. <coughs> and I'm not superstitious, otherwise I wouldn't dare ask. Um, um, so... I suppose um, the one that comes to mind was uh, was that little scar there, which was I was drilling into metal, and the the drill bit snapped because I was putting far too much force on the drill, and um, the drill bit snapped, leaving half of it standing up in the workpiece with a jagged edge, and I then punched it. That was very lots of blood, and very sore. painful. And where was the cut where you decided it would be a good idea? To use Ooh. super glue. Yeah, that and... was stupid. That was a long time ago. That was in the aforementioned workshop. Yeah, um, and then how did you end that one off? Okay, so picture the scene. I've, I'm, I'm there. I'm showing my drummer at the time how cool the workshop is. And I used the dust extraction port that blew a lot of air out of the uh, belt sander that I had to blow all the dust off the bench and out the window, which looked cool. So I did that, turned it on, realized I wasn't thinking. I caught my thumb in the belt sander, 
ripped a layer of skin three quarters of the way around the thumb off. Mm. There's no scar. Um, and turn the machine off. And I'm calm, collected. I'm like, well, that hurt. I mean, I've got somebody who I want to impress watching me. So I'm, that was sore. And he's like, <gasps> and turned white. And uh, I was like, uh, pass me that super glue over there. And I put the super glue on. Pass me that accelerator. And the next thing I know, I'm lying on the floor, crying like a baby, screaming and kicking things in pretty much the most intense pain I have ever been in, short of actually burning my finger. And uh, I went from looking as cool as a cucumber to a two-year-old baby who's just had his milk taken away. It was sore. In fact, my thumb can kind of feel it just describing it right now. Mm. So thanks for that. Mm, that was actually the worst. Thank you, Talitha. I, I had forgotten that one yeah. entirely. Uh, <sighs> there are some horrible sounding injuries from the comments. No, don't, don't, don't. Especially not with a six-year-old in the building. Okay. Six, seven. How old are you, child? Um, seven. I don't believe you. I just, I just like the way no, Electric sorry. Lady Guitars Devon UK wrote it. I've had a chainsaw customise a couple of digits and my nose. Uh, ouch. I'm speaking yeah. to a very old, dumb tree. Ouch. Lots of ouchies. Um, no, I'm being serious. I'm Ravencroft Guitars yeah. says, knowing Bun, I don't care. he'd Bunch. probably pull out a vintage first aid kit from the 1800s, complete with the original jar of leeches for bloodletting. Sounds like fun. Um, I was planning on having that section as aluminium. And that's too far. I can do that though. There we go. Yeah. I like that. Uh, soap saying to Super Chat. Thank you very much. Soap. Soap. I'm really surprised that that name was even available. Cool. And says, so, sorry I couldn't send more. Good evening from Plymouth. I need to go back to the beginning of the stream as I've been out all day. Well, thank you for joining us now. And uh, hope yeah. you enjoy the past. <laughs> yeah, enjoy the past. <laughs> Stuff happened. Yeah. I'm afraid of my power. <laughs> Simadakis says if Ben pulls it off as an inlay aluminium on the back plate, he will have completed the pledge on the body inlay as well. Yeah. I'm climbing up this great old dumb tree. Don't worry, it's not Daddy, I don't mean you. Ah. You'd never mean you. Cheeky child. Okay. No, so... I don't! I'm literally <laughs> climbing up a great old tree. Literally, I'm climbing. Don't worry, climbing Daddy, I don't mean you. Tree. He doesn't have any branches, though. Okay. He has a giant tree. What I'm thinking, tree. people, is to actually have this section here as the uh, rosewood one two three we should have enough room for for switches and things and then here switches and here have those two sections as aluminium and basically you've got a, a bolt there and a bolt there and the same thing a bolt there and a bolt there so actually that needs to be shorter and that is the mechanism by which the back plate is held down and that looks quite cool in my opinion what do you think um wayne parker says are you still going to be okay with the body bevel if the control cavity is so close <coughs> um so i, I realized that body bevel <coughs> a body bevel that large on that section will actually inhibit playability and make it less comfortable on your knee. 
So I will do a little bit potentially, but nothing, mm, not too big. Um, Terry Love, thank you for the super chat. Saying, being serious for once, thanks ah. to Ben for entertaining streams and not letting us distract him too much. I did punch my finger with a with a saw. Yeah, but there was no blood involved. There was no blood involved, this is true. Okay, so yeah. What I would like you guys to do is do a poll and tell me whether you like that idea. Sherbert says, what? No magnets? It's like I don't even know you anymore. I haven't used magnets on a backplate in a very long time. Well, it's uh, almost as if my body of work has come with me. Well, person that I've forgotten the name of, I have a magnet. JS Trucking Guitars Super Chat says, don't need a pole for that, just do it your way. <clears throat> I want people to be involved. Um, okay, so so yes, I need to clean this up a little bit. That's the template that we've made. And Frugal Fix a Spike. Frugal Fix a Spike says we're making his snow day pretty chill. Cool. I aim to please. What does the English owl call his favourite TV show? I don't know. Doctor Hoot. Oh. I keep on hearing Byron's Zelda game in the background <laughs> and it freaks me out. <laughs> New super chat from... Papa, I apologise, I'm not even going to try and pronounce your surname. Um, this guitar reminds me a lot of the 80s Casio digital guitar. That. We distracted Ben. <laughs> At this time of day, I do start dropping things and you know it. Uh, that's cool, those were really cool guitars. Daddy, you don't. See you at this time of day, you never drop stuff. When I've been doing a live stream all day, I do. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. this great old tree, I'm in his mind now. Get out of my mind, boy child. Mr. Trilby, Bun hasn't had coffee lately. He decided to stop drinking coffee at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And has had tea. Oh my. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> okay, so. Uh, tell me what this poll is doing. Let's let's end the poll. Eighty-six percent yes. Okay, cool. That's good. That means I can. Uh, I need to go in and do just a little bit more cutting. Nah. Okay. Is 
there a quick way to do it? Yes, there is a quick way to do it. You are not the king. Yes, he is. No, I'm speaking of this tiny coral. He is the king. He is on effect to my power. Boy, this is not a gaming channel. It might have sped it up a fraction. Okay. Byron, dude, seriously? Shosh. Okay, so I'm only going to be able to route partially into that spot in any case, but uh, yeah, it'll be quite cool. <laughs> Lisa Harshberger, Berger. I just got an email from your mum sending on my email. It's rather cute how it's worded. She sounds like she's protecting Ben. <laughs> that sounds like my mum. We're supposed to be all professional and stuff, and uh, yeah. She is. She is. Hey, bolter tree. Bolsa. Imagine if this was called the bolter tree. Hmm. Everybody knows and loves the coral. <laughs> the Fez man says every time Ben calls Byron boy, I immediately start wanting to play God of War. <laughs> <laughs> um. It means be quiet or suffer the consequences. It means you don't get to do a live stream next time. I will never schedule a live stream on a Tuesday again. No, ever again. That's oh, pretty well, much what I just said, said. You said on a Tuesday. Uh, camera three, camera three. What's camera three looking at? <laughs> Dan Peacock, my boss asked me why I wanted to go back to the office instead of continuing to work from home. Hearing Ben's kid reminded me of why I went back to the office. <laughs> Don't worry. Monkey. I'm not a monkey. Day five. Beckham. Byron, I need you to be quiet. Like, very seriously. Loudness like that is not good. Australian says, did you really just use the instrument as a saw horse? Yeah. I missed that. I'm just pushing your buttons. It works. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So that is uh, that is pretty good. Oh, yeah. I'm sore at this stage. So we are talking rosewood, aren't we? So. Uh, do we? You will in a minute. Don't push that power button, there, boy. What is the power button? It's the big button with that. Don't push that one. I pressed that button. Oops. It still wouldn't turn on. Oh, wow. Um, Michael. Michael hurts. Francis wants oh. to know why you use jeweler saws versus electric. Um, I'm talking to a lot of people. Uh, and it's much, much. Well. Quieter. 
Well, no, it's, yes, it's much quieter, for one, but did you not see... You probably didn't see because it was over so quick, but I cut so close to the line that when it came time to finalise the shape of the inner template, it only took me probably less than a minute with a rasp to just tidy the shape up just that tiny little bit. Whereas if I'd done it with a, um, a jigsaw, which I've got one over there, the Triton jigsaw is fantastic, it would have taken me at least 10 or 15 minutes of tidying up with a rasp and a file to, to get to the line that I cut directly to with the hand tool. Because I'm awesome. Um, quite, a few, quite a few people, including Terry Love and Louis, Louis Duke, say, did Bun just glue his own super glue to the bench? Yeah. <laughs> I clearly didn't need to do that earlier. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Uh, four and a bit. Uh, it might be stuck down and might not be. No, nope, no, it's not. There's not, not quite enough on there. But, uh, yeah, as I said earlier, that's the sort of thing that, uh, that does happen. I'm just going to use the big... Yeah, I'm going to use the big router <laughs> bit. Bourbon Sherbet, say, Bourbon Sherbet says, Good to know my six-year-old is not the only one to say random things just to hear the sound of his own voice. There is that. Uh, Talitha, could you pass me the extraction, please? Bored. Your son is bored. Stop. Careful, we turn boards into guitars in this workshop. Let me This will be over quickly. Okay, so there is that for now. Um, <clears throat> in, a, in a pulse tattoo says, tape the kid to a wall and let him try and get out of that if he's bored. Tape him to a wall. <laughs> what? That's what, what? That's, what, that's what the community is asking us to do. <laughs> now, raising a child takes a village. In your case, the village just happens to be a bunch of... Uh, uh, guitar builders and uh, and their families and uh, and friends and uh, they say tape you to a wall Byron so you know I don't think you have a clear wall in this building I can't hear that's good <laughs> you heard no I 
Denial is, is not a way to get out of this. No, I, li I literally don't want to be... Unless you get on a boat. What? Denial. The Nile. Come on, boy. Don't I pay you to laugh at my jokes? <laughs> you pay him? No. No! No! Jay is tracking sent another super chat in response to you saying you were never going to do a live stream of Tuesday ever again. Yeah. And he says, well, this is your own fault. We voted for you to wait until Monday for this stream. This is true. Did you? I thought oh, the, vote, yeah. the vote was Monday or tomorrow, and I thought tomorrow won by a narrow margin. but It was close, yeah. yeah. Some of you voted. I, it's just one of those things. I did want to get the guitar... Basically, the raffle, the, it's quite important that uh, the raffle earns as much as it can because, you know, it justifies all of the time. Um, the raffle is essentially the thing that really pays Talitha's, Talitha's wage <laughs> and, uh, and all of that. So we do need to be able to financially prove that this whole thing is, is, worth, is worth doing, really, from a, from a money point of view for the business. Uh, no, that's entirely in the way of coming to. Um, so I want the raffle to have the best possible chance of of work going well by people being able to see exactly what the guitar is going to look like. Mm. These cameras are all getting a little bit dusty today. <laughs> Tobias Bo says. With jokes like that, being Ben's son sounds like it should be a high-paying profession. <laughs> and Sawdust Passions sent a super chat with a good question. Okay. What blades do you use in the jeweler's saw? Okay, um, so it's... They are... Uh, actually, in that saw is a, a blade from Record Power, and they sell them as they sell them as blades for their powered uh, fret saw, and that's not a jeweler saw; it is a fret saw. Um, and they are that particular one is about um, it's sort of a skip tooth blade for for medium for medium work, basically. Cool. Thank you, Terry Love. He sent me a tip. Ha. Um, For dealing with me, yeah? Yeah. Darren Newcomb... Oh, why did I do that? I was so distracted I did that. Fine. <sighs> that wasn't what I was going to do. Michael Francis says, thank you. Uh, leaving the template on to tidy the edges. Very clever. Always learning. And then you went and took it off. Well, I took it... I was planning on doing some more routing, so I'm going to have to put it back in a second. <laughs> um, just... Oh, my roof is far too low. Darren Newcomb says um, about Byron, tape him to the chicken on the roof. Hmm. He was actually chasing that chicken around when we went outside earlier. I trying was... to catch the chicken for a cuddle. Uh, yeah, the chicken likes cuddles. I was hoping to... I have a confession to make, and that confession is that uh, when I went up to the house earlier... You cuddled the chicken too? No, I tried to catch the chicken on my way back in with the cup of tea, but the tea, it was tea or chicken, and I was like, fine, I'll... Okay. You'll meet the chicken one day for sure. Okay. Uh, Mark Milligan says, my 10-year-old wants to bug you too. Here's his joke. Hi, Mark. Uh, hi, Mark's 10-year-old. My friend tested positive for COVID, so I told him to stay positive. <laughs> <laughs> and Dave, Dave, you're a bit late. Uh, he says, Ben, watch you don't take the template off before you've finished drafting. <laughs> no, that's the joke. Thank that's you, Dave. The... Huh. Dave, that's where that went. You're a bit late. Just a tad late. I'm just looking through my router bits here. Just to see if I have anything suitable for basically I don't have guide a guide bush uh, I don't have a guide bush option um, for this router I, I need to get one sorted for this workshop 
uh, I was hoping that I had a router bit where I could put a much smaller uh, bearing on it and have a fat, a fat bit. But I don't seem to have one that is correct, which is very sad. Ian M. Norman has a Ooh, joke for us. Actually. Who's Ian M. Norman? Ian M. Norman. That do you might want to just hear the do joke? it. That might just do it. Why did Byron cross the road? Why did Byron cross the road? Because he was taped to the chicken. <laughs> uh, the you would be real, my yeah. man. The, the chicken on the roof is called caramel. Caramel. And caramel. the other chicken is called spaghetti. Jasmine, how are you? Spaghetti doodle doodle doodle. Spaghetti. Everyone say spaghetti hi to Jasmine. Spaghetti doodle 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 got eaten by a fox. Hello, Jasmine. Um, Jasmine, we have a problem, and uh, his name is Byron. I <laughs> noticed. Um, then Tyerman says the camera was out of focus when you showed the bit. Uh, yes, so uh, there we go. One big one, one small one. If I put the small bearing from that on the big one, then it will be the wrong way around. Ack! I need a big bearing on a small router. Why didn't you tell me? Just seriously? Uh, ben, you need a big bearing on a small router. And everyone's saying hi, Jazz. Hello. Um, I can't do it. I can't. Do it. Okay. Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine, mm -hmm. how art thou? I'm good. Uh, would you like to take over from Talitha and let her go home? No! Would you like that, Talitha? No! How long is the rest of the stream? Got him. No. <laughs> um, New game is throwing rolled up balls of masking tape at Byron's head. Just to see if it'll stick. Okay, no, um, okay, let's stop for a second. I need to do some routing. I think that, uh, I think that I would like the stream to end relatively soon, actually, um, because it's been going now for six hours and 18 minutes, uh, non-stop. How I am going to do this is a little bit janky but we'll get there. hold on no 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 don't don't just don't take a minute and think it through <sighs> have you ever known me to think anything through in my life it's usually after the fact but try it before you do something yeah there was a decision to have a third child and and, and that's when he's quiet okay um <laughs> no uh so Lithu, it's entirely up to you if you would like to, if you would like to go, that's cool. If not, I'm sure Jasmine would uh, be happy to go back to her it's computer games. up to Jasmine. If you're going to finish and like soon, I'll stick around. Oh. If you're going to go on for another three hours, I'm finishing I'm soon. going home. How soon is soon? Like half an hour? About half an hour. Um, Probably even less. I think let's, let's just leave Talitha here for now, if you, if you want. Yeah, it's really going to be very, very, very short. Uh, I'm just going to route this and then we'll talk about the guitar and then and then we'll be done. In fact, it would be better if I could give Talitha the footage to upload for Bear tonight. OK, fantastic. Um, yes. Absolutely. Thanks for coming down there, T. Um, Jasmine, your T, your Jasmine. I got you too confused. Please forgive me. <laughs> I don't have any, how much it happens with you, but it happens with me a lot. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Alright. <laughs> okay. Can't swim. Questions, um, comments? Yes, questions. Uh, two super chats. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Austerium. Austerium. Wisterium. Wisterium. Yesterday, Ooh, I wanted to swap jobs. Today, children. 
Mine has just got a, a £120 parking fine that I have to pay. It never gets easier, Rick. Boom. I, I would say let them pay it. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is a little bit uh, naughty. I'm going to use an, uh, force nibs to, re uh, to remove a bit of material by hand. I'm then going to use a chisel to thwack, thwack, thwack. And then I will use that as the thwack, template thwack, to route thwack. the best. Thwack, thwack, thwack. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> okay. Nobody would buy it, but you can still put it on a t-shirt. How many of you were worried that I was just going to keep on going all the way through the guitar? It did cross my mind. people saying yes I was afraid I was worried <laughs> uh, camera three got a baby. and so does fashion says is this day 10 of a one day build might feel like that but it's only day I don't, I don't know actually what is it day four day four must be This one's going to want to go sideways. Have I ever told you how amazing these Fanag Forstner bits are? Oh! <laughs> Vulcan Essen has a super chat. Wow. V, how are you doing? Hi Ben, while you're routing, do you know if the first electric guitars were done with routers or with patient hand chiseling? I love what you do. Cheers, V. Uh, pin routers, I would suggest. Uh, suction? I mean, the I, I would suggest pin routers, definitely, definitely pin routers and uh, Leo Fender and stuff like that. So yeah, pin routers. Arthur asked me a question: How big are the files from a day of recording? Uh, um, about thirty gig or so. With the new system. With this new system, yeah. But in the past, I've had anything from between 60 to 90 gigabytes on a major project like uh, Shred or um, Nebula. They were quite long days. Yeah. But also, so this new system is sending them through at um, just full HD. And it's somewhat compressing it basically, isn't it? Am I saying yeah. that correctly? Yeah, so when you give me the footage straight from the Canon, yeah. it is 1080p, but it's that's the large file sizes. So this system compresses it even more. Okay. Uh, Ezram, Super Chat. When will the final two installments of the build stream be? Mondays. And Salty John says, how many of you blow your screen after watching Ben for hours? Just realize you've just blown the screen. Even I do it. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's one of the joys of me watching my own videos. It's like, yeah. 
I, I too find myself doing it in the edit. <laughs> uh, it's embarrassing. Um... Barry Christian, are we there yet? Are we there yet? How about now? What have I missed? Some dust. And... All I've got going through my head right now is uh, that Jasmine, wrong camera, the Jasmine just asked if, when the stream is finished, if she could have the uh, the switch, and I said yes without thinking about it. And honestly, I'm not sure whose day it is to have the switch, and I might, I fear, I might have actually caused I think some we, we familial have, descent. Yeah, we we may have already caused that by allowing Byron to be in here with it instead of going with Orson to swimming. What do you mean? I think it was Jasmine's turn anyway. On the switch? Yeah. Okay, well in that case, yes, she gets it She gets it back at the end. Yeah. No, she's cool. She's cool. Uh, Ian M. Norman wants to know if you are verging on don't use sharp things tired. Oh, no, gosh, no. No, not at all. Is that focused? It doesn't really look. Uh, frugal fixer spike, yes, I did edit the Clarity 69. Uh, episodes. <laughs> was it 69 episodes? It was 69 episodes. Bloody hell. Because part of the way through you decided you wanted the style of each episode changed, so I kind of had to start again. Oh my god. You're not yeah. supposed to remember things like that. I don't remember things like you that. You do that. And the super edit of that series as well. Out of the thousand odd videos, that we've made, you've edited most of them. Yes. Basically. And I filmed the very first, your 24-hour <coughs> guitar. Byron, shush. So this is a an inside ground gouge, so it cuts Inside curves. Dave Lewis says, Ben, get Byron to paint the cavities before the next stream. Huh. It's all going to be done on, on, <laughs> on camera, but I can't wait to get to the point where the kids are working with me uh, on, on builds and things. I think that could be really cool. Bourbon Sherbert says, man hours is always 2.5 times longer than quoted. So if Ben said this would take two days, it'll actually take five. Well, there we go. I was hoping for one, but Ben time is a different thing as well. Mm. So I'm just tidying this up a little bit. How many not odd videos have you made? Probably enough to count on the fingers of one hand. Very good point. Those would be the straight, like, stain tutorials. This is how you use the oil. We need to do more of those. We do. We do need to do more of those. That's for damn sure. Carl Peterson says, Ben, thank you for drilling and chiseling this pocket because I have to do a pocket for a battery box in a guitar and I don't have a router and have been trying to figure out the best way to do it. Um, this is, this is, this works. Basically the trick is to have a gouge like this where the, the bevel is on the inside of the curve and it just makes doing nice tidy inside curves actually relatively easy. And then a counterpoint like question from Inner Pulse Tattoos. Inner Pulse Tattoos. Sounds like somebody I need to know. Is what's the best way to sharpen chisels? Uh, I've done some videos. Now, what's the best way to fix this? 
With a chisel. The, ta the, the tattoos. Um, <laughs> <sighs> yeah, if you're going to get head tattoos, wait until you can afford to go to a good artist. That wasn't the question. But I digressed. I'm kind of known for this. I have made quite a few videos on how to sharpen chisels. Uh, what series was the most recent one in, Talitha? Chisels. Oh, they oh, run together for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, you and me both. It's a non-stop thing, isn't it? You definitely sharpen chisels and nebula because you used them for the yeah. internal structures. Okay. Okay, so we're going to turn the microphones off for a minute and uh, I'm going to do some routing. Do some routing. I think that, uh, yeah, Tanya, etc., are back. For all of you who zoned out and enjoyed the quiet of the chisel work, uh, audio warning. Yeah, okay. Main mic's off. Back in a sec. Byron, headphones on, my darling. How many of you thought that I'd forgotten 
how thick the guitar was. 99%. Where's the faith? Uh, we hit the rosewood and that's it. Arg. All right, Byron's been taken back up to the house by Tanya, so he says goodbye. And he absconded with the uh, other headphones, so you'll have to get them back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've really had <coughs> I've really had fun today. So let's take the last of this off. Yeah, Dave Lewis says, Ben, I've had a very enjoyable day again watching you do this live build. Thanks to you, your sister, your wife, and Byron for a very entertaining day. Thank you very, very much. I too have had, I too have had a bit of a blast actually. Um, there's a camera in the way. Okay. Yeah. This is a, there's still a substantial amount of wood in the neck, but actually the body is, is very small. I think, I think I'm in love with this. I, I really think seeing it on a screen makes a big difference actually, um, versus having it on a workbench. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how this is turning out. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I thought there was going to be more of a 3D sort of layer effect. So the parts... Three little dots next to your face. Time out. Shush, time out. I thought these were going to be lower, so the aluminium... Much, much lower. Effect. Yeah. Okay, well there is a step effect, it's just... That's like a couple of millimetre step effect. Yeah. Okay. She's just causing time trouble. Out. She's time just out. causing I'm... trouble. I'm... I... Yeah. I can't be in time out, I've got to read these super chats. Go okay, on then, you untime out yourself. So we've been going for just over six and a half hours, which feels like a more... A better sort of um, amount of time to be spending on something like this. Stephen Clark sent a super chat. Thank says, you, Stephen. I'm on my third setup of the day and click two of them myself. All thanks to you for helping me find the greatest job I've ever had. Thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Um, It's, yeah. The sander yesterday was sucking all of this dust up, but uh, doing it by hand is less, less good. In a pulse tattoos says he'll look into it, but he thinks the angle grinder is the best way to help with the head tattoos. Time out, time out. <laughs> Jamie says Ben put the mask on, effectively putting himself in a timeout. I do not disagree. <gasps> Terry Love is having chicken korma tonight. After our, all our talk of caramel on the roof. Not. No. It works, just not. Not enough. That's too fine. That sandpaper's too fine. Fine. Mask off. Uh, now, Talitha, do you know where that really coarse sandpaper? Ah, oh, there we go. There's some. I'm going to turn the big main mics off. Not enough. It's doing 
doing something. It's doing something, it's just not doing as much as I'd hoped. Okay. Now, just before we uh, shut up shop for the day, here is where we're at. And then I'm actually going to need to film an introduction for the raffle. For the, yeah, to talk about the raffle on this. Uh, also, some people are joining the stream late and want to recap. Yes. Okay. Well, let's, let's do the recap quickly. I have a bit of a cough. It is not COVID. <laughs> we run out of water. Okay. At this stage, I've been building for, for four working days. Three of those were really long working days, but, <coughs> but a lot of chatting in between. We have taken a Bond Electroglide fretboard from the factory, a headless system, kind of half headless system. It's a, a bridge mounted tuning system that's got some locking things that look like tuners at the headstock, thus kind of negating it. Um, but still, it's a very cool looking, uh, good quality system. Taken that, designed by committee, a guitar that I am very much in love with. And this is where we currently stand. There is a an aluminium top section with rosewood, uh, slightly recessed, looking cool, a through neck, a tremolo, um, and most of the work, most of the noisy work at the very least has been done at this point. Uh, the guitar is the right shape. I've got some carving to do, I've got some neck carving to do, and then we've just got to put it together. Uh, now, this guitar, if you are watching this before the 22nd of January 2022, um, is available. <coughs> this guitar is available, it could be yours. Uh, I need to drill a hole there. Uh, if you go to the raffle, uh, there are tickets available. Link will be in the description. And Link the in the description. And the guitar is called Boba Fret. And uh, <laughs> Boba Fret. And the uh, serial number is C3P90. So uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Got a super chat from Bur Bob and Sherbert again. Bob and Sherbert, thank you very much. Two sets, two sets. Okay. Making a quarter size guitar for my six year old. Wow, okay. Is there a minimum thickness for the nut end of the neck? He has tiny little hand things. Uh, a minimum width, really, or thickness? Oh. Thickness here, but which is better? Yeah, okay. I, I don't really think there is, to be honest. Uh, I hope that that hole is big enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. I don't have a long eight millimeter bit. Not really. You're not talking about huge amounts of tension with a guitar for a six-year-old. Um, you can be... Uh, yeah. Okay. I think, I think, no, not really. Do what you need to do to fit the, the, the musician. Four. Okay, so I'm going into a six mil hole with an eight mil cutter and it wants to jump. So put the drill in reverse. And then push it in and then you go. Stephen Clark says... Some of that got me in the eye just a little bit. I thought you should. I, I thought I saw that. Yeah. Stephen, Stephen Clark, Clark says, have you ever considered getting the Adam Savage ruler tattoo? I'm considering it very much. Um... If I wasn't, and I call myself a YouTuber with some skepticism, if I wasn't a YouTuber, yeah, I probably actually would. It's pretty cool and pretty useful. If I do it, I'm just an Adam Savage wannabe, and I, I don't want to be that. <laughs> and 
Toot in Carmen. Carman, sorry. Toot in Carman. Yeah. Says, Ben, please say, Luke, I am your father with the mask on. <laughs> no. Not, 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 not right now. Uh, okay, two more super chats from Vulcan Essen. V. V. Hey, Ben. What's actually the plan to ease access to the higher musically in brackets frets? Cheers. There doesn't need to be a plan. Uh, this is the beautiful thing. Uh, you've got full access anyway. Most people don't use their thumb um, to that extent. Uh, I really did do that backwards. I thought, oh, I should start at the bridge because that's the right way to do it. But no, I was wrong. I should start at the neck. Are you wrong in admitting it? I'm pretty sure I've got a reputation for being wrong and admitting it, sister. How dare you? Um, locks one e y Loxley maybe Loxley super yeah. chat. Are those fretboards still being produced or are they discontinued? Uh, very discontinued. Uh, there was one on eBay not too long ago for a hundred quid that uh, somebody uh, found and shared with us. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Thomas Carroll. Uh, says, speaking of Adam Savage, Tested just posted a video of Adam giving a tutorial for making spaceship paneling for models. <laughs> Watching this is required homework before the next part of the build. Okay. The, the, yeah, it sounds fun, but it also sounds like I'm going to just drop all sorts of stuff off my bench for no reason. It also sounds like I'm going to uh, change your mind. End up doing a longer build as a result. I might need to route these pockets a little bit deeper. And certainly I'm going to need to do something with the wires under there. Let's just go in that way for now. Yeah, okay, so I need to adjust the uh, bottoms of those holes. Tutum Carmen also wants to know where the out ja output jack is going to be. So do I. <laughs> is that the wrong, is that the wrong answer? Um, I was thinking about having the output jack here so that it sort of <coughs> either pokes straight out and goes over your strap or I could even put a strat style, um, a strat style jack socket there which you have to click in that way or maybe even that way so it just pokes straight down to the bottom but uh, yeah it's one of those things. Okay so Here's what this guitar is starting to shape up into. I, I love it. Uh, I hope you do too. And uh, I think this is pretty much where we're going to uh, end it. <sighs> uh, 10 more minutes from now. Yeah, there we go. We stop at six o'clock UK time on the dot. Um, ask me any questions and we'll keep going for 10 minutes and then uh, call it an evening. Super Marco 35 says that looks so badass with pickups in. Are you implying that it didn't look badass without a pickup? <laughs> I, no, I agree. It's, it's starting to come together. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy. Niles Parmentia says that never happened. Ben changing his mind? Never. Mm -mm. Nope, never happened. And Slave to the Ink says make it longer than expected. You? No. <laughs> Super chat from Mike and Noel. Are you going to try to make a similar fretboard from scratch at any point? I love the idea of alternative fret styles. Yeah, so do I. I think we could machine it. It's the anodizing that's actually potentially a problem. So this is some B-roll for 
for the video of where we're currently at design wise. Dodie the roadie Oops. says Ow, tripped up on something. Don't forget to earth don't forget the earth hole for the bridge. Ha <laughs> yeah. Um, less of an issue with a trim because the trim itself uh, the yeah you've got access to the trim claw. Wow I really suck at b-roll when I'm using a whole giant tripod. Hey to that. And you can't take it off the tripod. It's kind of tethered. No, it's tethered to the tripod. This is the thing. Um, anyway. Uh, James Dawes has an interesting question. Okay. Hi, James. I know the half pencil technique for a fretted guitar nut, but how do I do it when it's fretless? I think the saw I used earlier. Um, that's the thing, the nut can be a whole hell of a lot lower, so in reality, um, yeah, I suppose, yes, <laughs> I, can't, I can't come up with anything profound, I'm sorry, no, so the thought was get a, um, uh, feeler gauge set and set the height that you think it should be uh, you know a half a millimeter or, or whatever it happens to be and just draw along the top of the feeler gauge that will match the radius of the fretboard um, but uh, yeah you could even just use two or three pieces of paper uh, put on top of each other and draw along the top of that if you want um, crimson makes a nice feeler gauge set of course um, but yeah the joy of a fretless instrument is that you basically do have a bit of a lower action at the nut because you're not worrying too much about the frets. Um, so start at a normal height and then work down to a point where you're starting to feel the buzz. Michael Francis says bridge height. What's up with the bridge height? I don't know, it's just bridge height. Bridge height on this? This is fine. Um, I should have about four millimeters. There you go. So it is, that's a very, very good point. There is no height adjustment on these saddles at all. I can't believe I've only just noticed that. Yeah, so at the moment with the bridge flat against the, uh, um, the plate, I could actually pretty much have zero action. So yeah, I've got a couple of millimeters height uh, to play with, which should be, should be about perfect. Okay. Questions seem to be running low. Cy no, there's loads. I'm choosing which. <laughs> Cyberus <coughs> spelled C Y B E E R U S three Y. I like it. That's like uh, Cerberus, but Cyberus. on the internet. Cerberus, like the hand of hell. Uh, yeah, got it. I was thinking about building a five-string bass for myself, neck through or bolt on. I have never built a guitar before. First, I was thinking about thinking doing it with some random wood just to try it out. Any advice? Um, don't do random wood, but don't, also don't spend huge amounts on the wood. Get good quality um, sapili or something like that that's not hugely expensive, but it's also not going to be something that you're going to regret later on. You are going to be putting probably 50 to 70 hours into this project, whether it's a, I'm just trying this out or not. A lot of hours to put into something where you've already basically handicapped yourself by using, you know, cheap substandard um, material. Um, that's what I would suggest. And it sounds fun. I do wish I could do my first instrument ever again. All over again. Yeah. Craig Heath says, are you sure there aren't height adjustment screws underneath the saddle? Yeah, the saddles are... <coughs> uh, that's it. They've, they've, each saddle is a different height built in. This here is your tuner, tuning, and that there is your uh, adjustment that way. So, yeah. He's got nothing, Jim. 
I know I bastardized that, didn't I? <laughs> Still, it's, it's going to be a cool system. Black dragon. Remember, remember. Sorry, just to finish that statement, you, I'm going to have two um, posts that it's set on, and those posts go up and down. So you don't necessarily actually need full adjustment unless you want it slammed onto the top. Okay. Carry on. Black dragon. Is there any concern about the strings pulling off the pegs since the headstock has them angled in? No, because they're locked into the pegs. Yeah, it's it's a locking system. So there's a stainless steel pin in the center of the the the, um, the whole thing, and it's gonna lock them. Carl Peterson. Hi, Carl. Ben, how would one adjust the truss rod on this guitar? It's a great big hole. Bump. So yeah, you've got more access there than uh, you normally would on <laughs> on most guitars. Uh, is Rum super chat? Just to say, it's just stunning, man. Really brilliant build. Thank you very much. Um, I say this a lot, <laughs> but yeah, I, I would like to make a few more of these. <coughs> okay. A couple my, more. My lungs are, are dying at this stage. It's, yeah. it's insane. As we're coming to the end, my body's like, actually, let's 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 just call it a day. Yeah, that happens. Slave to the ink says. What wood would you use if you want to make the wood grain stand out just like the Voodoo Juju guitar, as an example? Copy that guitar immediately. Just just say, hey, what do they use? Um, flame maple, etc. Stains, all that jazz. What do they use? And, and just copy it. Most wood used on most um, commercially available guitars is easily and readily available. Maple, Sapili, um, Wenge, Ebony, Rosewood fretboards, all of these things are so readily available because there are millions of guitars being made every single day. So find a guitar you like the look of and, uh, and go for it. Uh, make sure you get wood from a proper luthier supply house so it's nicely properly dried. Um, I cannot uh, emphasize that more and uh, you'll be okay. Cool. Robin Andrews, uh, thank you very much. He says, if you're ever in need of some 3D printing help or advice, I'm more than happy to help work as a full-time 3D printer, technician, and operator. I can't believe that that's even a job. Sorry, that just, it amazes me that that's even a job. When I started building guitars, 3D printers were the, the uh, era of the domain of DARPA and stuff like that, and, or at least in my head. And now it's, it's, uh, thank you very much. I will take you up on that. Um, yeah, I really want, uh, I really would like to get into it, to be honest. I think that it would be cool and what we could do in the, in the guitar industry could be great. Um, as long as it's uh, ecologically sound. Yes. Um, Michael Francis says, thanks to, for what you guys do. Cheers from Texas. That's an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. And Inner Pulse Tattoo says, Ben, thank you and your crew, family, for doing these videos. Can't crew. wait for GGBO 2022. Yes, there will be an announcement uh, uh, 1st of February or beginning of February. Okay, um, <clears throat> I think we need to pretty much call it a day unless there's any uh, super chats or anything coming through. Um, <coughs> I would like very much to say thank you to everybody who's watching. Um, it's been, it's a Tuesday and uh, I'm surprised that there's been so many of you, in the, in, uh, to be honest, and delighted. Uh, I am going to be doing a, a weekly live stream build. It works so much. I really enjoy the feedback. I enjoy this whole process. I think we just, we are going to do that. Uh, it is probably going to be on Mondays. The next episode in this build will be on Monday, uh, next Monday. And uh, we will we'll go from there. Uh, now the guitar itself is pretty much finished. I'm not going to say I'm going to finish it next week, but uh, that is the hope. Pretty much finished. You haven't even carved the neck. I have not even carved the neck yet, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> she taunts. Uh, it's available via raffle. So if you want a chance to win, uh, that raffle is finishing on the 22nd. Um, I thought I'd given myself two or three weeks headway, and uh, yet here we are. 
Um, <clears throat> am I allowed to buy raffle tickets to Leitha? Um, I suppose so. I mean, we actually you are... Do it anonymously, yeah. Well, it's not anonymous. We're, we're completely separate. That's the whole beauty of the using raffle is uh, <laughs> it's just a... It's completely separate from... Ah, pickups. I've been Don't waiting for that to happen. I've been waiting for that to happen. So have you. Um, there we go. Anyway, now I've just embarrassed myself. I'm going to say good night. Have a fantastic week. Uh, we will be back. We'll be back soon with more. We will. I can't believe we yeah. Four episodes in. Four episodes into yeah. a one day build. Fine. I'm going to learn one day. I am. <laughs> uh, you guys rule. Uh, I think we're done. Are we done? We're done. We're done. Goodbye now.